It's the Opie and Anthony Show. We're pretty much running the place at this point. And it feels good. It's a weird day yesterday, Louis. Louis C.K. in studio. They fired pretty much everybody. There's no one left here. Jesus, <laughs> really? And no joke. Wow. The company uh, did some cutbacks. Wow. A lot of people were affected. Yeah, over the past, you know, couple of uh, weeks, we really have no boss left. Uh, nobody. Jesus. Radio is brutal. It's really like a two-man enter, one-man leave thing. In this yeah, place. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> under dome. <laughs> yeah. And uh, a lot of fine people got fired, by the way. A lot of people I've worked with over the years, so mm -hmm. not trying to make light of it. But the fact is, at this point, we're running the place. Right. We don't have a, a program director. We don't have a general manager. Oh, my God. We don't have um, most of the sales staff. Their heads were chopped off. We don't even what have about a the woman with the things. The body, yes. Tracy, she gone. gone. She's gone? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I have a shot with her now. She has knees. No, probably too depressed. I mean, uh, I was very attracted to her, too. Really. Yeah. No, she was nice. Um, if a computer goes down, there's no one here to fix it anymore. Wow. I'm spraying water all over the board because I did something stupid. We don't have an engineer to fix the board if it goes wow, out. I mean, man. this place is like, there's a, it's, I don't know. It's, wow. it's, like it's just rudderless now. Yeah, it's like a ghost town. <laughs> but this is like CBS radio, isn't it, here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, no, you would think this is like a college radio station where you have some, you this know. The Tiffany is, Network. <laughs> yeah. Like, Columbia, whatever that means, broadcasting. Yeah. Columbia Broadcasting. So. Yeah, college radio is better staffed at this point. You know, wow. you got the sophomore that's just learning about electronics. So you're like, all right, yeah, yeah fix the board. Good luck to you. Iron. Really long pause between the introduction of the song. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is Flaming Lips, and then you hear. <laughs> hey, we want to get <laughs> like after like <laughs> yeah. We want to get right into this. Louis C.K. did some radio up there in Cleveland. What you called into a radio show? I called into Cleveland. I was doing like a few in a row, and then this one was. I actually thought it was Buffalo, and I say Buffalo. A couple of oh, times. good. Oh. Because <laughs> to you, you don't, you know, you don't know, and you don't. No, care. I have no idea. And the thing is, they didn't even call me on it. They said nothing about me saying Buffalo. I realized. Really? At the end. They said anyway. Good to see. We'll be glad to see you in Cleveland. I was like, oh, well, this is Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland. Yeah. I well, thought this was. Buffalo. I, Oops. Well, well, you called the Maxwell Show. We've had problems with this mm. show in the past. Not real problems because it, we slap them around and then we throw them back into obscurity. Right. So they kind of get excited every once in a while when we bring up their names. But yeah. relax. Yeah. You're back to obscurity by uh, Monday. Yeah. Uh, this show, like, I, the last time we talked about him, they claimed that this, like, pothead that's on the show is funnier than Jim Norton. Mm. So, like, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're talking to a hell of a lot more people than this dumb radio show, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we, we put out the challenge. We're like, look, uh, send us five minutes of you being funny. Yeah. And then we'll let our listeners decide how funny you really are. And, and then, of course, he had some weird reason why he couldn't do it and stuff. Sure. You know, sure. I guess he didn't want to... He didn't want his great talent to be exposed to like a <laughs> right. a, a giant audience, you know. No, no. I, I basically, Private. we call them out for the phonies they are. Is what mm -hmm. it comes down to. And then he has problems with Louie, who's a great comic. It's it's amazing to me. It's almost like what he the, the greatest crime this guy commits is that he's not a funny guy. Um, like I I don't care if you want to you want to crap talk us or we'll crap mm -hmm. talk you. But he, the curse of him is that he's just not a funny dude, and he tries to be a moralistic mm -hmm. guy about what humor is appropriate. <laughs> he's just what he is. He's a big fat slob who has like a, a one place that he feels comfortable mm -hmm. and in charge. And you, uh, a brilliantly funny dude, calls up. You have no idea who he is. You don't even know what city he's in. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? You don't know the city he was in. Right. And that showed him this is who I am. Yeah. Right. This is a guy who's at his own show. Uh, HBO specials, he has no idea who I am or where I am. Yeah, and besides not being funny, you know, they try to make believe there's, there's some kind of edgy show, but they're using fake radio voices. They're like, ha, 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 a lot because they're uncomfortable to be in front of a live microphone. He's the fake name, Maxwell. Like, well, that's a cool guy, like hardcore. Hey, I'm Maxwell. Uh, are you? Maxwell what? I use Stop. A, yeah, I, what's your last can name? Can I call you Max? I use a fake name. No, you don't, but yours is not a radio name. Yours is a name from childhood. Ugh. Yours is a nickname. But that's stuck different, with. Though. I hate this name. Nah, you know, I every, hate it, I do. Everyone knows your name. I got it when I was 12. Oh, <laughs> sweetie, don't be honest. I'm now pushing 30. I hate this. Pushing 30. That's right, plus you're 12. 80 year old OB. That's going to be something. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, Louis. Yeah, that's where you're headed. It's okay. Yeah. So, right. let's get right to the audio. Louis couldn't wait to, you know, send this in to us. And uh, yeah. Maxwell looks like a complete dope. And he's, of course, the guy that invented this brilliant thing. And punt. See, he'll, he'll right, make fun right. of you. Yeah. And then he'll and punt what, because he's done. Because yeah. he's done, you know. Because the defense right. oh. did their job, and now you got a punt. Oh. That's, ah. his, that's, yeah. that's his like hardcore way of going. 
End of story. Almost yeah. like the, the eviscerating <laughs> is done. Yeah. Man, well, when I went on, as soon as I ca they came on, like I'm just waiting. You know, somebody comes on. You're going to be on the air in a minute, and I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. And then there's I they I hear them come back from the air, and he's like, yeah, we got like one of those guys who just there's yeah. a lot of silence, and then he's like, all right, we're back here. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, kind of talking like that, and I was like, this is odd. The first thing I say to the guy is, you guys are weird, just because it's <laughs> such a strange... He's trying to be too cool for the room. Yeah. And he, do yep. he doesn't talk in his natural voice. No. Uh, he we talks don't... in a radio guy yes. voice. We don't respect any yeah. radio show that has to like do the fake radio no. voice. No. Uh, Bob Kelly here, too. I I'm sure you have some experience uh, uh, talking to radio shows across America, so pipe in when you can, all right? Yeah. Uh, here's Louis <laughs> <laughs> Uh Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to move it along because we're running yeah. out of show here. Yeah. Louis C.K. on the phone with this Maxwell show up there in Cleveland. It's kind or of else yeah. Or else, or else you would close the door, get privacy, and meanwhile they go jump out the window like Eric Clapton's stupid baby. Right? Oh, <laughs> now see that right there. That's what I'm saying. Now see, stands where he thinks that. I think that's a terrible joke. Yeah, it really? happened for a minute. There you go. Man. I don't care. I really don't care. You know what I mean? God gave that guy one really good talent. He could play the guitar. He wrote a great song about it. Made him I don't dollars. care. <laughs> I don't care dollars. about any of it. <laughs> I don't care about any of it. He's trying to say how it's a terrible joke as he's laughing. The he's laughing time. at the joke. Uh, yeah, the thing yeah, also yeah. to keep in mind is that the setup to this, this is not, I don't do a joke about Eric Clapton. This guy uh, said that I shouldn't make fun of my kids on stage. <laughs> and I said, why? And he said, well, I have a baby, so... And I just Shut went after up, I, you I, jerk. I just went after him and I said, Oh, nice. that's really sweet. You got a little baby. Do you have any idea what you're headed for? And I just started talking about being a parent and uh -huh. this bit is about how you can't crap in private when you have kids. If you're watching your kids by yourself and it's time to crap, you have to gather them in the bathroom to watch you. Because otherwise, They'll if you do it with your door closed, you're in the bathroom with the door closed. Meanwhile, they're walking off uh, out the window like Eric Clapton's stupid baby. Yeah, I call him <laughs> stupid. I don't care. He's but, dead. But that's the point but so, of the bit. <laughs> so that's the point of the bit is how how much you, this pressure you live with as a father. He laughed at it. Of course he kept me on the air for another five to ten minutes, by the way. But <laughs> the bottom line is just the fact that he has a baby he thinks makes him that makes it like important to him to be offended. yeah and what he, he's just a phony yeah but he takes jerkle. part in the joke he actually makes a joke about how eric clapton made money he thinks he made one million dollars i think he yeah. made a little a more than a million that. dollars he's, <laughs> he's like dr more evil than that. one yeah, million exactly. dollars it's a lot of money to him but and then they laugh and he asked me for marital advice and i gave it to him and everyone laughed for another five to ten minutes after i said that and mm -hmm. then they hung up and the instant he hung up he turned on me. Of course. Yeah. yeah, well, that's what most of these radio Just guys do. Just weirdly phony. We've had horrific comments. I would have been happy to feel to the comments on sure. there. Yeah, yeah. And well, actually, he says to me there, you shouldn't have made that joke. What if some, what if you're, I don't know if you're going to play that, but he said, the next thing he said, I said, he said, you're, what if your baby fell off, uh, out of a window? Would you laugh at it? I'm like, no, but I assume other people would. Yeah. Exactly. Louis makes complete sense yeah. in this situation. I mean, I <laughs> wouldn't laugh at my own baby dying, but, but others uh, would. Folks and have at it. And I you understand that. that. You would. Nothing, <laughs> enjoy, the, enjoy the show. Nothing no, worse than chuckling. some pompous yeah, Bob, My friend Bob parents. will make fun of my dead baby. Uh, we'll be laughing. But whatever. Yeah, exactly. The, the cur here, here's another telltale sign of an unfunny guy is to start dictating what subjects are appropriate. Right. It's like that is... He's got his list, yeah. That, like, you know yeah. how gamblers have a tell? Yeah. The tell of an unfunny person, besides the silence after jokes, yes. is when they try to <laughs> dictate morally what's appropriate. Yeah. Based on their morality yes. or, or so what you, they find important, that 10-minute yeah. segment. There are some guys that you go in, you know, they tell you this guy isn't like this. He's, yeah. he's very... And you're like, okay, I get it. Uh, you yeah. know, I'll do my stuff, but I get how he is. But when you go into the, these places where they're supposed to be edgy, they're supposed mm -hmm. to be hip and cool, and they kind of suck you in, yeah. and then oh. you're kind of doing your thing, and they're with you, and then to trash you after is like... It's so just lame. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, a, that's a worse move. Yeah. Just We've had horrific confrontations with people that where it gets, it's uncomfortable for everyone, right. but they're at least getting, it's a real moment. Totally. It's real. For the most part, we don't talk bad about you after yeah. you leave the studio. Mm -hmm. I'm sure somebody will come up with an you know, a, a time maybe we did that, but in general, man, our our track record is pretty damn good. Yep. We've had fist fights on the air. We've mm -hmm. had all sorts of horrific things happen. I hate this guy. Yeah. Someone should and, hike his what, baby what was and, 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 and as soon as you start deciding what's funny, like because you have a kid, you're yeah. finished as an yeah. a, a, as an edgy jock, which you're not. No. Yeah. 
You're just you're just faking well, that, it. What, what do you? What is funny. the next clip that? Oh, uh, yeah. let's go right into it here. I don't know. I think it continues. Now, okay, let me ask you this: What if your kid jumps out the window? Are you going to laugh when a comedian makes a joke about your kid jumping out the no, window? No, of course not. But I assume other people will, because what do they care about my stupid kid? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Great I laugh. I don't laugh about my own kid jumping out a window, but it's it, that's my kid, not your kid. I hope you do laugh. Oh, okay. Right. 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 I, I like this approach. I like it. All right. You know, well, uh, you know. I feel like there's healing happening here. Now... What a oh, phony voice. <laughs> right. So, yeah, so, right. So like yeah, bad gun. Yeah. He actually, uh, like, I like his approach. Like, no, I he's thought, totally on my side. Yeah, but that, yeah. that was, that's schmarmy too, what he's saying. It's, it's like, I like his approach. Right. Like, if it was any, if, I like the angle he's taking. Mm -hmm. It's not the typical angle. He's not mm -hmm. just being a, okay, you're, you're being a little smart. I approve. Mm -hmm. Here's what I like his approach is about. He tried to call you on something, but not harshly. Right. Uh, because basically he's one of those yeah, guys. He's still being friendly. He's, of course he is. Mm -hmm. he, it actually felt to me like he's setting me up. Like he's enjoying this. Yeah. And he's playing the other guy. <laughs> right, so, right. Hey, should you have said that? And I go, okay, here, I'll knock that b out of the park. Uh -huh. he, Let's but, enjoy that. But he really was being a douche. <laughs> and he's not funny. He's no, not he's a not, funny dude. Yeah. So what happens was you, he said he said something and you had a very funny, mm. honest answer. And then being an unfunny radio hack, he goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Because he couldn't come back. <laughs> because he didn't, yeah, exactly. He couldn't come back. Exactly. That's what you are. So wait a minute, play, play what happens next. I don't know, I don't know how you got these lined up, but. Uh, no, I think we got it pretty organized because it gets better and better because as soon yeah. as Louis hangs up, then you get this, this quote, gets real delicious. Maxwell. Watch oh. out. Uh oh. Had oh. the chance to really go at it with totally, you while you were totally. still on the phone. Would have been happy. Yep. Well, hey, Louis, thank you so much, man. We thank appreciate you so you're much. You're going to be uh, here in uh, Cleveland February 15th. And then he plugs you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. And then he plugs, me. plugs you. <laughs> You know how many times we said, you know what, go f yourself, f your show, yes. you know, and 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 just keep kicking you as you're trying to leave the yes. studio. Yes. This guy turns around and, and gives the uh, the the plug Gave like, me an like infomercial, like a, like a good, an like a, a good little radio boy. <laughs> yes. You're good a little boy. radio boy. Good boy, Maxwell. Good Give boy. The plug. Good, good boy. boy. Good Maxwell. boy. Oh, just little... don't want to get in trouble with the local comedy club that's sponsoring it, right? Good little boy. <laughs> good little boy. <laughs> Fat shill. Okay. Well, hey, Louie, thank you so much, man. We appreciate so it. You're going to be uh, here in uh, Cleveland February 15th. You can uh, still buy a ticket. Somebody told me this was Buffalo. This is Orange. <laughs> this is Cleveland? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cleveland. Oh, I'm Good. actually looking forward to that. <laughs> and they laugh. Yeah. They laugh. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate but Cleveland it. is awesome. I can't wait for that show. That's going to be awesome. Thanks, guys. Hey, thank you. Thank appreciate you. it. Now, remember, I, I appreciate a lot. Thanks, of thanks, lot. Thank you. <laughs> appreciate it. Not, Great. Uh, not, hey, Louie, you're not funny. Yeah. Not we're not plugging your gig because you suck right. like an honest guy would have said. Plug it. Give me money in my pocket uh, with your listeners going to my show. Yeah. Thank me. Tell me how much you appreciate it. And then this. And All right. Get ready. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah. And this oh. is where we expose the little radio mm. boy. Now Louie has hung up the phone. Coward. Mm. Had the chance to really go at it with mm. Louie, which, by the way, would be great radio. Would have been awesome for people his aren't, show. People aren't turning it off. No, of course not. They're gonna they're gonna listen to every single word. By the way, uh, no one brought this to our our attention. Mm -hmm. I th you had to tell Sam, which means no right. one out there that Nobody's listened listening. even heard it. Even or heard cared it. Or, yeah. It's, <laughs> usually, when one of you guys no one's listening. usually when you you one of you guys gets in a situation, somebody in your world immediately. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you hung up, and this is what happened. And this is where I pretty much hate every radio yeah. guy. They had a nice little save there at the end. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. I got to tell you, man, it's still the, the voice changes. Right? I got to tell yeah, you. Yeah, I gotta yeah. tell now you. it's time for my man cow impression. Yeah. Let I me tell you tell something. You. You know what it is, too? Because he knows he has to go home and look at his stupid wife, and she'll probably go, Why didn't you call him on the baby? <laughs> uh, I was looking at uh, in our baby's eyes when he was saying that awful stuff, and it's your so show, and you I, let him. I was so startled that I threw it out the window. <laughs> I got to tell you, the voice changes no more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Louis. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we'll see you when you can. And they, yeah. have, they have a black guy on the show called Cracker Man. You know, because white oh, people are crackers. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the swisheroo. That's, that's the old swisheroo. Sure yeah. is. If you look left, they go right. These guys are unpredictable. That's great. Ed Maxwell's a funny guy in charge. That's good. What's the white chick's name? <laughs> <laughs> and punt. And punt. And punt. So listen how the voice right. changes from uh, you know hua, 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 to uh, his big cow impression. Yes. They had a nice little save there at the end. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah.
I gotta tell you, man, still though, at the end of the day, making fun of Eric Clapton's kid falling to his death is not funny. You laughed right. at it, ass. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Who's the I boy? Mean, the hole. Uh, Wait, they have a show. Just called the show? hole. Yeah. It's just called the hole. The showstopper. I who's, agree. Yes, who's the, the breaks? Who's the broad? Ha <laughs> ha! You listen I to agree. your stupid PD. They said <laughs> you need a woman to balance everything out. Yeah. You dope. Ew. The who's big, the 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 woman on a radio show, which amounts to that big, greasy, sweaty hand <laughs> on the <laughs> locomotive brake handle. Yeah! And sparks just fly out of the wheels. Yeah! Luggage vaulted towards the front of the car. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what Ladies she with is. Nice hats go screaming. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so she added to this by saying, "I agree." Of course, that's, that's terrific. You're you're getting paid way too much, honey. <laughs> you skirt. Yeah. But of course you agree. <laughs> You yeah. silly, typical broad. Of course you do. Oh. Make some cookies and serve them to fatso with apnea. <laughs> <laughs> I have a baby. Do you? I got to uh, tell you. I got to say. Now that it's safe in here, I got to yeah. really I tell you what's tell going you on. And who is it Eric Clapton? just a boy. Who's Eric Clapton Well, here's anyways. the thing. He gets, he gets <laughs> what's well, weird. I don't know if you have the turn on here where he... He says that because uh, he's kind of taking it from his own guy. He starts saying it wasn't that uh, wasn't that big a deal. Oh, good. Let's mm. hear. It. Let's hear. It. I yeah. think it's right here. I agree. Mm -hmm. Wait I mean, come on, Stansbury. At least give me that. I mean, That's not funny. Kids falling out of open windows and 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 splattering on the ground is like. Well, I mean, he didn't paint that whole picture for you. Well, I mean, but yeah. that's what happened. There. He fell out of a skyscraper, right in New York City, right? Yeah, he walked out of the window. Yeah. I mean, dude, that's not funny, regardless of whose kid it is. Well, why did you laugh at Why'd you laugh? Well, well you he did it on your show. The funny. guy with him on the show, actually, I really like this guy from listening to this stuff, because the other guy actually totally puts up a fight and says, hey, I, I, maybe I wouldn't laugh at it, but I don't begrudge somebody else laughing right. at it. Right. And you're making way too big a deal out of it. Stansfield, the guy he works with, uh, is not as bad. Like, he's a guy, the first time we went to fight with this guy, He's like, eh, he's just kind of siding with, he knows that the Maxwell he's working with is just his, his, his guy. He has yeah. to side with him. Right. So he's not as bad. Like, he, I don't think. But by the end of this craziness, and you'll see how bad it gets, he actually says he doesn't think he should be working. They, like, he almost, they almost, he almost fires him on the air. Uh, <laughs> he says the fact that you find this funny means that you're a turd and I'm actually questioning working with you. Like, he really? says that seriously. Oh, good. Well, here we go. Yeah. I don't necessarily think he would have to be in the situation. I think a kid falling to his death is not funny out of a window. Just like Puddle of AIDS jokes aren't funny. I don't think... I Listen what? to me. Oh, that's, little shot that's Jimmy. Oh, hey, what is oh. that about? But listen to the rest of that, because mm -hmm. there's something really absurd about it. Listen right for a second. Puddle of AIDS jokes aren't funny. I don't think... I Listen to Do me. Do you have to have AIDS to know that AIDS jokes aren't funny? No. Wait, keep watching. So what's the difference? Well, you know, puddle of AIDS, funny. No, no, puddles of AIDS are not funny. All right, stop there. They're puddles not. of AIDS don't exist. They don't exist. <laughs> puddles, of AIDS. puddles of AIDS are not funny. <laughs> when I'm walking to work and I see puddles of AIDS, that's not funny to me. <laughs> they don't exist, you <laughs> silly you silly radio boy. What an ass. You silly local car salesman. They and don't if, exist. You, if you understood humor, that's what is funny, where yes. you invented About a puddle of AIDS. Puddle of AIDS, yes. you puddles dope. Of, Puddle of AIDS does exist if a uh, uh, you know a gay couple's baby falls out a window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, now I just yeah, gotta put punch. them both together like that. Yeah, baby punch. falling in puddles of AIDS. Well, I love the way. Now that, it's too far. I love the way puddles of AIDS is is, is so is immediately associated. <laughs> every, everybody thing. knew Jim Norton. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I know. But yeah. my line, you're associated. Puddle of AIDS. He doesn't Jim like Norton. me. And I, the problem is, not only do I not like him, but I don't respect him in in the comedic sense at all. No, of and that's, course not. I, I, that, the worst is I don't respect him comedically. Yeah. Uh, a puddle of AIDS is a non-existent thing. Yes, silly boy. Yeah, silly radio boy. Who you're taking the, the like the the darkest, worst, most sort of vilified disease of the, uh, our time yes. and making a puddle of it. Yes. <laughs> there's nothing funnier than that in the world. Someone to in slip the world. In it. Like yes. to not only say like there's a puddle of AIDS, put a rope around. But it. I hope you have a wacky <laughs> a wacky slip yes. of the foot and in it. fall in it. Yeah, and go. Oh my God, I'm you're... in a puddle of AIDS. <laughs> yes. it's a banana and peel. And wipe show. it out of your right. eyes like a like a Three Stooges <laughs> person. Yeah, but you know what though? It's almost like if you want. This is why I don't put content restrictions because the Three Stooges, who are some of the funniest things ever, 
when you break it down, I mean, yeah. it's not funny to cave somebody's head in with a brick <laughs> no. or to jab somebody. No. Is it funny to blind somebody with your fingers? <laughs> no. That's what happens. <laughs> That's what, I'm just explaining That's to the, to, to, to fat local pig in Cleveland yeah. that when you break down humor like that, right. that's what happens. Nothing right. is technically that funny when you break it down no, like that. Not. That's why you're not a funny guy because you don't understand that. All right, with that, we got one more clip here. It's really not the end of the world. But man. when I asked him about it, his claim was, I would expect other people to make fun of it. Yeah. Yeah, if it was my kid, it wouldn't be funny. Well, guess what? That's not my kid, and I don't think it's funny because I have a heart. Oh, now, maybe there's just some God. things you don't do for a laugh, dude. Maybe that's it. Maybe you just go, you know what? Which is everything in his book. Yeah. <laughs> the thing that's really important here, though, I wish you had this clip, but I don't, I don't know where the hell it is. But he, he says in one of these, one of these, uh, one of the segments, because he went on for two hours. This went on for two hours that he only talked about how angry this made him to the point that he's actually talking about firing the people around him because they're not agreeing. But he says oh at one God. point, he goes, don't get me wrong, the thing he did on the air was funny. The thing, when he, the way he used the reference here, I laughed at that. He says that twice. He says, yeah. it's the part, he says on his HBO special, this dude does a whole bit about Eric Clapton and I've seen it and that's what I was offended by. He made it up. I've never, no. Talked, the one time in my life I've mentioned Eric Clapton with my face and mouth ever was on his show. <laughs> so he made up that I do a bit about he it. Lied. Like, That's what's offensive. And he says it like three times. He keeps back and he goes, "No, no, no. This way, here it was funny. Yeah, because he laughed. But, yes. but yeah, because he laughed. But in the bit he does on his special, and somebody needs to dig it up because I'm not sure which special. That's he keeps saying that. Find it on his special. It doesn't exist. And then later he says, "I think he makes. I think he makes jokes about having sex with his kids too. And I don't find that funny either. Which I don't. No. He just made up bits. Well, that's, that's what kind you of do. funny though. If you have a radio show, <laughs> that's what yeah, you that do. would be. Just, that was like, make hey, up, you just make up stuff, and it's fine. Yeah. Not, you can't be." Proven wrong. Can we sum this up too? I'm not yeah. to finish it, but just to no. sum up where we are right now. He has a fake radio voice. Yes. He has a fake name. And he has fake indignation. He fake laughs yes. at your joke. And then he, he fake, uh, 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 fake spits that you never did. Yeah. So he makes spits By the end of the. He's the, a the, fake. Everything about By the end of his fraudulent. show, he said, I hope Louis' uh, baby falls out of a window. He says it seriously oh, wow. with, no, with no jokes. Oh, oh there you go. That's nice. That he hopes. Yeah, well, good. One of those type of people. I love those types yeah. of people that will yeah. say the worst, most horrible things right. as they've just spent a bunch of time trying to say how horrible right. something you which, said. Was. Which I, you know, I Correct. don't, I don't, I'm sure I should be offended, but I don't think God will throw my baby out a window <laughs> no. at the yeah, behest no. of Maxwell. <laughs> some Maxwell. <laughs> yeah. Some hack in Cleveland yeah. doing yeah. it. Right he is a hack. Let's, uh, let's finish this clip. Some things you don't do for a laugh, dude. Maybe that's it. Maybe you just go, you know what? I have ethics and morals, and I'm not going to do that. Because <laughs> that ain't cool. Because two parents had to deal with their kids splattered all over the street. No. I mean, it doesn't matter whose kid. It actually that's that's fell onto a part of a roof. That's what I would do. Not to mention a building guy with a mop. I mean, he didn't maybe he <laughs> believes in it. Well, I hope one of his kids falls out of a window and dies. Not so funny, then, is it? What? No, no it wasn't heard. because you seriously like meant it. And you have no exactly. comic. There was, was no delivery. comic. There was no comedic angle to what you no. just said, you jackass. No. And just so we, uh, I, I went right back to the first clip because mm -hmm. now that's angry Maxwell. But when he had the chance to really right. go at it with you, right. you got this. It's kind or of else frustrating. Yeah. Or else, or else you would close the door, get privacy, and meanwhile they go jump out the window like Eric Clapton's stupid baby. Right? Oh, <laughs> now see that right there. That's what I'm saying. Now see. Stands where he thinks that. I think that's a terrible joke. Yeah, it dude. happened forever today. You go, I don't <laughs> care. I really don't care. You know what I mean? God gave that guy one really good talent. He can play the guitar. He wrote a great song about it. Made a million dollars. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about any of it. <laughs> He's laughing, giggling, and, and he makes a joke about it. Right, and yeah. participating. You're a phony man. And actually, well, I made it. Steak. I'm making a joke about being a dad using the stakes of a famously dead baby right, to, right. to uh, explain it. He's actually making fun of the dead baby by saying he made a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> million dollars. We have him th I I'll say this, man. Good for Stansbury. You know what? For at least going to bat. I respected him because for the whole hour and a half, he doesn't stop. He Good. says he refuses to let Maxwell well, have all has, the ground. Maybe he has a real chance in radio. Though. I think if they got rid of Maxwell, which they should, and gave that guy the show, they'd have something going on. It would be all right. He's in a position where but he this can't guy, go crazy. And, and here's the thing. When I when I go on radio all over the country and guys are like, hey, so uh, what do you think about uh, Britney Spears? I'm like, I don't I don't have anything about that. Yes. I'm like, oh, well, all right. We're out of time. Those guys. <laughs> those guys 
guys I'm fine with because they're that. Yeah. But this guy is a phony, disgusting coward. He's yes. just a. He, I mean, I've never. That, there's nothing that grosses me out more than taking part in a joke, mm-hmm. cheering it on, and then when the person's gone, claiming to be better than that joke right. that you laughed at, and then and also isolating the thing in the joke, and and just he says it over and over again. And what a sanctimonious, like, yes. like he's Ugh. gonna get the Nobel Prize for pointing out that it's a shame that a baby fell out of a window once. And you have no morals or scruples or whatever no. the hell he said because, scumbag. because you're in the radio business. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You've sat there and taken it. And right now we're on in Cleveland. So here's the number if you want to call his show. Oh, that's uh, nice, Jimmy. 1-800-348-1007. It's 1-800-348-1007. Three four eight one zero zero seven. Now, if you're hearing this anywhere else in the country, we're on in delay in afternoons in Cleveland. So, if you're in Cleveland, we're on now. If you're anywhere else in the country, we're uh, not on until three to seven in Cleveland. No, time. no, we're uh, we're live right now in Cleveland. Good afternoon, Cleveland. <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm saying we're on delay by two minutes. <laughs> no, right now we're live. Yeah, this but, is afternoon. Oh, yeah. hold on. Good and punt. <laughs> you know, it's just not funny. And punt. Not funny. Not funny. Not not kids falling over the window. I just not gotta funny. Say. <laughs> not funny. <laughs> good for Stansberry. Stansberry yeah. pro- good for you, man. You know what? Good for you. At least you knew that it was a funny joke, and you're working with a, a sanctimonious yeah. fat man. There's nothing worse. You know what happens later? Also, they mentioned that when his boss came in the studio in a break oh. and said, uh, "and said you got, you're being kind of a wimp about this. Like, what's your problem? Like, nice. the boss took weird. Wow. The company guy no, took, why? took he, the side that. Because he said, sees, because the boss sees the ratings. The, bo- like, the boss uh, said, "You and Anthony are, are kicking exactly. your ass." It is the wife. So he says on the air that the boss said, "You're worrying me a little because you're coming across like a wuss. You're Good. coming across like a guy it's who the wife, take dude. a joke." You're right. It's yeah. the wife. He knew he had to go wife. home. He knew he had to go home. Oh yeah, Jimmy said it. Yeah. He he knew he had to go home and face his wife, and it would have been this big thing. Yeah. Like, how could you let him sit? Look into our baby's eyes. No, and he told me Look. that he had trouble with his wife, ta- him talking about her on the air and stuff. Look, I t- I say oh. horrible things about my kids yeah. and my wife, and I t- go home and I take it like a man. But you know right. what? Though? You're- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we take a break. But- yeah, we really have to take a break. But uh, very interesting stuff, uh, Louis C.K. Louis, you're promoting uh, what? What are you promoting? I'm going to be in Cleveland. <laughs> On uh, February fifteenth, right. yeah, the night before for the fourteenth, I'm in Buffalo at the whatever arts center. Say hi to Buffalo. We're on the edge yes. right now, man. And then I'm, uh, and then I'm, uh, I'm at Wilkes Bar uh, uh, in Pennsylvania uh, on March seventh. All right. Can I plug my Cleveland, Kenny? What am I in Cleveland? Real quick. Right in front of you. Don't scream at me and humiliate me. Just tell me. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of you. I don't know where that. By is. the way, the number people are asking for one eight hundred three four eight one zero zero seven for the Maxwell Show. I'm doing two shows Friday, February 29th, ninth, the House of Blues. They're, I know they're both sold out. Uh, so I wanted to invite Stansbury to one of those shows. Not honest to God, not in some conference. I don't think he'll come. Not to be confrontational, none of that stuff. But you are welcome to come to the show. I hope he comes to my show too. I really did listening to that all the clips and then it, uh, I was really impressed. I really by respect dude. the guy for that, yeah. and that's I'm not. This is not a sarcastic invitation, yeah. even though I know you won't accept it. I'm just letting you know that for stands by this is a real invitation. Yeah, basically Maxwell's holding you back. It's very obvious well, to all of us. We're here. all in Cleveland. We're not February. scared. We're not scared of this dumb radio show. Mm-hmm. We're we're kind of looking no. out for your future. Well, you're, obviously his guy, boss. I, I think that's where it's headed. His boss wants. We'll, we'll, we'll get rid of Maxwell mm-hmm. and give this other guy the job, and it'll actually be a decent show. <laughs> all right, very good. It'll be we like your Maxwell. sister show in Buffalo. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're Cleveland. Where are yeah. we? We're all in Cleveland. Well, you idiot. You are an idiot. Little cities don't matter. You're an idiot. You all live in places that don't matter to exactly. me. You get lake snow, die. Yeah. <laughs> so weird, though, that we're all in Cleveland in February. Really? That's right. We are. Yeah, sure is. Bob Kelly, where are you going to be in Cleveland? Uh, we're going to be back in just a minute. It's Opie uh, and Anthony. Got to go right to the phones on the Opie and Anthony show. We got Tom in uh, Franklin Square. We got a report from the front lines. Uh, Tom, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, hey, it's hey. Jimmy. Hey, hey buddy. Going? What's up, man? Uh, no, we I just pulled up the, uh, what is it, the edge that Max Awards for? I really don't even know, <laughs> to be completely honest. <laughs> <laughs> and we know our competition, but for Cleveland, we don't know because we we don't really look at it as competition. I'm sorry. Hmm. To the Maxwell show. Yeah, whatever. All right. Uh, the screener is answering the phone, and he goes, Listen, I'm tired of you douchebags calling me. He's not until afternoon. Oh, he's, the screener, <laughs> his show's at 3 p.m. Yeah, the screener. Uh, yeah. I, I'm sorry, guys. I give the number out. Let me say, if you live in Cleveland and you're hearing this, call 1-800-348-1007. Anywhere else in the country, 
He's on three to seven Cleveland time. Yeah, but that shouldn't stop anyone. Call now. Okay, okay. You just yeah. make their freaking it's day miserable. Irritated over there. somebody. Yeah, just, we're all about <laughs> irritating somebody. We don't care who. <laughs> just you all got right. a chance to irritate somebody. Call one eight hundred three. If you'd like to be part of the, seven. If you'd like to be part of the group called you douchebags. Yeah. By that fellow. <laughs> And let's see if they go with it today, but of course they won't because uh, they don't got it in them. No. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. All right, real fast, Ryan in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Ryan. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. I wanted to say that uh, Maxwell's in fact wrong because as South Park told us, AIDS is funny. Yeah, freaking yes. South Park has fun with the AIDS thing. Yeah, is he is he criticizing? Uh, what was his family? You That's have family AIDS. Guy. Family you guy. You have AIDS. Or uh, any any of the other shows? Yeah. Mm. You know, no. It's no. A fat man. All right. He Bogus. proved our point. We got Bob Kelly in the studio, and uh, I took a phone call from Bob Kelly yesterday, and it was very interesting uh, hearing him talk about uh, this uh, this big patch loss. You yeah. are really bummed out. And then I was on the phone with you explaining the play because you still haven't seen the play. I haven't seen. Literally, are you kidding, you baby? Hang on one second. All right, Anthony. <laughs> you mean the one where he's like watching a beheading video? Uh, uh, you know what though? It kind <laughs> is, is it close. It actually, I haven't, I haven't seen anything from halfway through the fourth quarter. I haven't watched any footage. But wow. your ESPN. Are, can I ask anything. you something? Your Pats are in the Super Bowl. I know yes. it's it's pretty tough to watch your team yeah. trying to win a championship. But but isn't that what you're looking forward to the entire season? Why would you turn off the game in the fourth quarter? Because I knew they were going to lose, and I could, I just couldn't take it. I I kept going, like I kept, I looked around at my family, and they were just like ridiculous, uh, you know, Irish, Italian, uh, Boston people just. <laughs> What's going on, <laughs> Brady? What we're out of room? He's a, oh, just screaming. I mean, it's just that that. Then I understand why you left the room. I had to leave because your, <laughs> your bummer family. I, I, I had, had to, to leave. watch <laughs> Dallas lose uh, to Dwight Clark the catch. I had to watch Jackie Smith drop that pass in the end zone to Pittsburgh and Dallas stays this amazing comeback, and they would have went ahead if he didn't drop that pass. I've had and some you know feel. how I feel. I, Horrendous. And you know I'm how I feel. Did, yes. Bob, I'm from Boston. I'm a huge Pats fan. And I really enjoyed that game. <laughs> yeah, but it was a I great actually game. enjoyed watching them uh, get beat that way. And you actually came to my mind because you're a type of guy, though. I said you had a Yankee cap on one day and a yeah. Red Sox. You're like, I don't care. I'll I just don't wear care. a hat. I, I like I, I like good sports. I like the story of right. sports. Um, but you see, that's when I realized that I, my family brought me up into a cult. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I have a, a, a triangle head logo on my shirt. Uh, and I am a member of a cult, and I have no decision making of my own. And I, it felt like the only thing I can equate it to really is the, when I got arrested, and the finality of hey, I'm arrested, but there's always that chance the cops talking to you a little nice, and you kind of uh, so and then mean. and then you go in the car, and it's like well you know hey well we'll get, bring you back, but then when they shut the door mm. and you're there, you're like this is real. Yeah. I'm not getting yeah. away. It's not changing. Mm -hmm. And you still go, please, something's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And nothing yeah, happens. something's going to happen, all right. I actually got, <laughs> yesterday, they found a video where they, they stopped the clock, and they weren't supposed to stop the clock. Right. And that would have been the end of the game. Right. And I actually got hope, like, maybe they'll I reverse it. I thought that, it. too. I thought that when everybody was jumping oh, around and there was still one God, second. I saw that. Yeah. I was yeah. like, hey, so. something, maybe there's some, something could happen. Bob, I'll, this, when you watch this play, this is like... Yeah, I, watch, watch the play for the I, first I, time. I, it's one yeah. of those plays. This is so weird you haven't seen this ridiculous catch uh, yet. You can't it's, even get it, mad. When, you no, know, that's the thing. When that happened... I thought, oh, give to give it to the Giants you now. Can't even get mad. After I it happened, I good. said, I go, they have to now win this. There's you don't no, make a play like this and no, then lose the game. No. Yeah, there's no way they were going to lose after that. So, uh, yeah, like Bobby, uh, step up there. Notice. Um, this is the real deal. He has not seen this play yet. Not notice the almost, because it's not just the uh, pass, uh, uh, the reception. It's the pass also. Uh, notice uh, it's almost a sack. Yes, obviously. Well, where is this in the game? This is like fourth quarter. This, this, it's this the is the end. The game. <laughs> this is the final drive. This is, this is the, uh, this is the final drive. This is the Giants' last touchdown. This is the play. So we're winning that, right now. Yeah, yeah and, we're winning by fourteen. And, yeah. and then after yeah. this touchdown, well, we're not going to show the touchdown. touchdown. The, the, the no, but this is catch. the play that made it possible. And then third down. Yeah, third and five. It's third, and this is is going to go down as one of the most amazing plays yeah. in uh, Super Bowl history. Play for Bob. Play for Bobo. Watch now. Watch how he gets in the grasp. Almost. He's I, almost down. Uh, Look at this. Look at this. He this gets really out. Good, uh, YouTube. The pass and, and it. on his head. That's that's great. See, what is that? At three frames per second? 
Yeah, I know. Is it because you made a slideshow? We just watched the slideshow. Right, make the screen small. He can still he see it. Do you understand bandwidth? And All right, this is the catch. Look, on his helmet, one hand as he's falling backwards. And that's then he has amazing abs by keeping that ball from touching the <laughs> from ground. From touching the like, ground. That's all, right, right. That's, that's all abs. He did work. a sit up. That's <laughs> all <laughs> crunches. Two, that's all crunches. Well, because he has his legs okay. off the ground. All the things that your awful yeah. trainer makes you do. He Look keeps at his that legs catch. off the ground. That's how you lost the Super Bowl right there. That was it right there. There's no way you should have made that catch. I mean, you there's no way he's going to that catch. It's on the top of his helmet. Look how close it was. If it had touched the ground, he's dead. Yeah. Oh! And, he went, and he went, oh, with his abs. Yeah. Oh, and he squeezed, crunched back Did in. Did a crunch. <laughs> God, that and he was. he saved the game. That was the, that was the, in, in that, that, there's the Super Bowl. And, uh, at that point, it doesn't matter. That, that one moment no. is the difference between yeah. the legacy of undefeated. It's, I'm not even busting your chops, but I mean, in that moment, that's where it is. That's yeah, but this is, is the problem, is that, okay, Look, here it is again. Is it, and there's somebody there that could have just knocked that right out of his hand. Yeah, just or... sickening. And this is what makes me think that sports, there's got to be something. I mean... <laughs> look, look at us. Look, look. Look you know what, dude? Why the Giants? <laughs> yeah, look at him. Why him? Oh, I'm yeah. with Nobody... you, man. I'm with you, Bobby. 50, what, 85? Who cares it's about a, him? It's a great story. He, well, it's, it's, a great a, great sto it's a great story. It's a great story. If, how is it great? You don't came think, out let me of ask nowhere. what story's better. No. What story's better? Tom Brady, perfect specimen. No, of so what? So what? Man. Winning got... four, going out in the Super Bowl, going 18 and 0, I mean 19 and 0. Way history. cooler. You know, Way cooler. You yeah. know the ball was Way slapped. Way cooler that he got Dude, that close. Look, look at this. The ball was slapped too, but he look wasn't able to slap it completely out of his hand. It got on his helmet. Which means that guy's got yeah. ridiculous fingertips. Look at, watch this. See, see, this is where he should have collapsed backwards. And he went, <laughs> He's got a hernia now. He pops <laughs> up, right? He's got a hole in somewhere. Here's that the thing. For them to go 18-0 to get that close, and then for this guy's, li a, a real quarterback's little brother to bring a team <laughs> out of nowhere, <laughs> real... to, to take a team out of nowhere and beat the unbeatable <sighs> is is really cool. It just was and it's a happen. great Boston, New York thing, because like, I wear oh, base Red Sox cap all over New York, and guys give me crap all day. And I take it. I don't care. But after we won yeah. the World Series, all construction workers, cops, firemen, all the toughest New York guys would come up to me with really serious and go, congratulations, sir. They call me <laughs> sir. Congratulations. They just felt like they owed it to me to say yeah. congrats to their bitterest rival. Yeah. And I really respected that. And well, after this game, I took the subway home. There was all these Giants fans, and I had the cap on. And they all looked at me like, ah, and I said, congratulations, gentlemen. Gentlemen. And they were like, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like they were out there. Really the weird thing is, uh, what, what, uh, just to tell Bob, too, there was a, a, an interception dropped. Like, Eli threw an interception here yeah. it, on this drive, I believe, and mm -hmm. it was dropped. The guy had it and dropped it. And yes. if he caught that ball, this play never would have happened. Yeah, That's but right. th this is the point, is that they had you all... If they lost two or three games, mm -hmm. you, it might be a different story. It wouldn't probably hurt as bad. But the fact that they sucked you along all year, <laughs> mm -hmm. and they got you to the end. That's and what makes it great. And, it's being and a they Boston actually fan, lost apparently. this way. If they got blown out, it would have been different. But to lose in some fluke fashion... It's a fluke. fluke. It's great football. That that catch that's a, that's that's a, that a catch a is a fluke. That's if a fluke. I'm with Bobby. We were in a he meant to fluke. catch it. Well, <laughs> really, I guess, really? but that's that's come on. Well, there is to it. That's yeah. that's a fluke, dude. Let me. The odds of hit that him. First of all, Eli getting out of that situation, making the throw, and that eighty-five, eighty-five son of a gun. Yeah, you can say son of a bitch. No, but it's all that's all that's that all catch, athletic greatness. That is not a, yeah. to have not, the timing with your hands you yep. to right, catch dude. the ball when you can't watch, see watch it on your press. head. Right? Watch Eli get out of to the hold press. on okay. to it and to oh, not oh, and to oh, know oh, that you oh, need oh. to keep your abs tight to yeah. keep the ball from touching <laughs> the ground. That guy's name is David Tyree. By the way, can I say David Tyree? The first of all, he the guy went. If the guy was. The guy went to slap it out of his hand. If yeah. he wasn't underneath him and he fell on the ground, mm -hmm. guaranteed his ab muscles wouldn't work and that ball would have fl no, flown No, that, that's out of his true, hand. and I think they should yeah. give the Patriots the it's, win based, that's what on, I'm saying. based on what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. They we should, should go back the and review win. this. And it would have been easier if your pats were what? Like, I don't know, lost the game. 14 and 4 for the year or something. And, yeah. Dude, 14 Then it wouldn't have hurt as much, but. No. And that, that's the thing, too, is that they will, they've always been the underdog. They've always See, if been we were Rocky. In the, if we oh, were, it can't be 14 and 4, 14 no. and 5. They've always the been Rocky. All sound yeah. on that. And you know what? It's almost, it's almost good because as fans growing up, I've always been a hunk, hunk of crap. 
Yeah. I've always we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose, and it almost <laughs> makes you feel better when you win or when you lose. You can deal with it, yeah. but for the last from 2000 on, yeah, we're winners now. We've been winners, yeah. and and this is this this is what Yankee fans yeah. must have felt like in 2004. Yes, New which York is, beat us. Is de beat devastating. Us. Yes. By the way, you were never a winner. No, they were. The, the, you, the New England Patriot, you don't, you're not a member of the. You're, you're not actually on the team. I yeah, do want to point that out. Yeah, but they did congratulate <laughs> you. I had the shirt on. Louis, like you were on the team. That's true. When you were telling your little well, story. Well, I am on the team. I was going to ask you. I, what, I think I could take more credit than Bob. I was going to ask you what your average was for the World Series <laughs> in 2004. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to play Everyone Has AIDS from Team America because yeah. AIDS isn't funny, right? No. Yeah, never, we'll, we'll never. leave with that song. Uh, plugs, Louis, Cleveland, Buffalo. Cleveland on the 15th of February, Buffalo the 14th, and the, then the Wilkes Bar, March 7th. I was talking to the PD in Buffalo at mm. the Edge. They're very excited to have you. I can't Extremely. wait. Extremely. Make sure you do I've Shred. I've never played Buffalo. Make sure you do Shred and Reagan. Uh, you've done it on the radio. Those guys are awesome. They're, I they're a real show. They, they yeah. talk with their real voices, and, <laughs> and you know they'll tell you to go after yourself if they don't like you awesome. in person. i got to plug something, too. Sure. I, uh, both shows tonight at Bananas and Poughkeepsie are sold out. I mean, tomorrow night are sold out, so there might be some seats available tonight. Both shows tomorrow are sold. And noon today, tickets for the second half of my tour go on sale. That's Seattle, Portland, Detroit, Chicago. Uh, all go on sale at noon today. Go to my MySpace.com, Jim Norton. All the information is there. And um, I'm, I, I'm really going to try to to go to one of the shows this weekend. You should, man. You should come. Uh, will Will you have seats for me and like three other people? Yes. Okay. I'll make sure there's seats. All right, Bobby. Go to my MySpace. Bobby? Uh, I'm going to be at Cleveland at the end of the month at the Cleveland Improv. All right, very good. Uh, we're heading over to XM. I don't know what happens at this station here in New York after we leave. No clue. Uh, maybe they're playing music. Maybe they're starting the country. Uh, yeah. Maybe they're starting the country station today. I don't know. Who knows? Stay tuned to find out here in New York City. Uh, we leave you with this for Maxwell, who doesn't know what funny is. We'll uh, we'll see you guys on Monday. All righty, here we are, XM Satellite Radio. Yeah, a lot of people are noticing. Bob, you've been promoting the hell out of your CD, huh? Yeah. Why? They, they, well, they play it a lot when we go to break. Oh, oh they do. I have heard it. It's What's, the one where you might, you must have gotten the date wrong, and they have to dub in the proper <laughs> yeah. date. Well, yeah. Well, they just, get, you just don't know how to promote because no. the point I'm making is that you tell everyone, all your fans, to get the brand new Bob Kelly CD. At Tower Records. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? A and that's where it should joke. be sold. Well, no, there's a, there is a Tower Records. <laughs> place that's I'm, been I'm out talking of about also available at Woolworths. <laughs> it's, Wolco. It's not, Wolco. The it's not the Tower Records you, you're talking about. It's the Tower oh, well, Records that, with two W's. It's uh, it's down no. in the village. It's How about like Tower old, Airlines? Oh, Can you get on there too? Oh <laughs> shit! Swimwalk name. Broke you from. take take Pan Am. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Next time you fly Pan Am, <laughs> yeah. There's no Tower Records. Eastern Airlines. On the well, Eastern well, Wings of Man. Yeah. 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 Well, what are you going to do? You're right, Opie. I have to agree with you. I don't know how to really promote <laughs> that well, but I'm I'm learning. All right. Also, <laughs> also, another thing coming in. I love the listeners. They're a bunch of tattletales. The, uh, this guy writes, uh, Mike B. from South Carolina. Opie, could you please tell Steve C. that when he makes promos, just because he can curse every other word doesn't mean he should. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what promo is he cursing at? i got to hear this I now. Don't know. Steve is a bag of shit. Uh, yeah, let's hear it, uh, Butcher. Count the curses. You too. If those albums come out, I want Not you to that buy one. It. Just the tip. It did that bit already. The one where Steve curses, please. God damn it, man. That's Jimmy right. was right. This is the day everyone is paying attention to us. Mm -hmm. We got all sorts of things. We've got a lot of hooks in the water right now, mm -hmm. and this is the time we need to sound great. Mm -hmm. Then we can go back to being lazy. <laughs> We'll be back to being lazy in no time, but the next week or so, we got to be sharp. I'm On your toes. Sharp. sharp as a tack. Or we you freeze your balls with, that, with that, that poo freezer that we were playing oh, with today. The, the, the dirty talk. All right, uh, Butch, are you ready? Take two. Oh. When's the last time you went to opianthony.com? Holy shit, One. it's been that long? Well, get the fuck over two. there right now. We just added a brand new section called Old School Opie and Anthony. It's going to be old uh, bits. It could be from our CDs that we released. It I'm could, scared. It could be old uh, old, old publicity shots. All that crap. Oh, no. <laughs> so there's all brand new shit that's going to be Three. highlighted every fucking day Four. on opianthony.com. So go there now. Uh, not not a lot this. of curses. You know what? I'm going to defend Just that bad. Four curses. Yeah, I got to defend Steve. Motherfucking cunts. I really they weren't needed, though. Oh. I'll, I'll go in there. I'll oh. fucking. I'll, I'll use the same. I'll, I'll, I'll go in there and record 
A classier one than, than in, in three seconds. Classier. There's no reason. What is OpenEthic.com now has this section called what? Old, Old school, school You know, I don't like he the way he's that cursing during the promos. Who's this not faggot from North Carolina who yeah. didn't like it? Tattle Who's this fucking... Yeah. Unnecessary. Fucking had to be fell out of his mother's cunt and decided to bother us with this. Well, <laughs> and we we loved, uh, you know, the tattletales, actually. But that yeah. one just fell flat, Louie. Yeah. What can I tell you? I would love to beat up Steve again. Trust me. I know. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> it did sound a little desperate, like, oh, this is, you know, we got to make sure people that like cursing hear my cursing. Yeah. yeah. They but let, only four. They yeah. let 400 yeah. people go at CBS Radio yesterday. Yeah. And I'm looking. I'm like three or four times. Like, was, where's Steve's name on this list? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Well, well, that's... See what he's trying to get at is I'm awfully incompetent. Mm -hmm. Right, I understand. And then I'm thinking maybe. Then I'm thinking maybe Steve Carlisi is his radio name. So then I'm yeah, looking right. for other Steves that were fired right. that could possibly right. be Steve. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saying I don't deserve <laughs> right. exactly what it is that I'm See, doing. See, Steve here. thinks mm -hmm. he's got this figured out how to get yep. by this yep. abuse. Right, and by it's running never going to work. It's never, no. It never works, so whether I give into it or try to fight it, yeah. I'm That's always right. a bag of shit. Right. You can't fucking fight it. <laughs> <laughs> what he's trying to do now is be like in that movie Red October when there's a missile headed towards the uh, submarine. A torpedo, so he he heads for the torpedo, yeah, yeah, right, hoping right that for he'll it. hit it before it arms. God damn, right. that's a good yeah, reference. That's a very good reference. Yeah. That's Commie a, fag. There's a lot of... Oh, my God. <laughs> Commie fag, is that what you call me? All right. <laughs> Let's say hi to Dennis in... shit eating cunt. New yeah. Jersey. Dennis? Yeah, hello. Dennis. Dennis. Hey, what's up, guys? By the way, you know how I was talking about how the show's got to be really good and we can't mm. be lazy? The listener's got to help, too. Yeah, fucking chime in when you hear your name. It can't be yeah, lazy. When you hear your name, it might be your turn to talk. Right, you guys got to be sharp and ready to go, too, because yeah. you, you're very important to this radio show. Everyone's got to be sharp. Not a boy, Ope. Dennis, uh, Dennis, go. All right, I just had a question for Louie. Um, yes? Uh, did you have sex with your wife yet? What? Did you have sex with your wife yet? Well, I have two kids, so clearly, yes, yes. <laughs> I have. No, 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 no. On Friday's show, you said you, it was like two or three months you had sex. No, I have. It, 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 there's no, there's no ticking clock here. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, it's a, it's a cemented vagina. There's no, nothing's going in. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what. I don't, it's not nothing that's any of my business. I don't know what she keeps up there. It ain't, it ain't my dick. What is that? <laughs> it's got nothing to do with me. What is that? What is that thing with tubes? Are we allowed to talk about know. that? I don't know. It's got nothing to do. Table. It's like I have less to do with my wife's vagina. Like when you walk, walk into like a Korean grocery or something, uh -huh. and they're selling d uh, DVDs of Korean movies for <laughs> Korean people. <laughs> yeah. Like that's got nothing to do with me. That's how much. That's my relationship to my wife's vagina. Is like whatever. No it's part just of a it. whole area that I'm like. Oh, I guess some something's going on in there. But it ain't you. <laughs> it ain't me. I got another no. request too. Sure. I'm glad I got the participants in studio today. Uh, less uh, ass fucking on the. Uh, oh, on. <laughs> it was fun. Oh my God. It was fun for a while. I, I think I'm talking for a lot of listeners right now. I know they're talking. It was a it. lot of fun, but they play those things like. Look, we don't, we're like, it's not up to us how often they get played. And it's getting a little creepy now. You guys. Bob has only fucked me up the ass while I promoted my shows twice. I only right. do it. I only first of all, I only fuck him in the ass. To help him sell tickets. I asked him to do it. The first time he did it, he did it. It was spontaneous. It's very spontaneous. Second time I said, "Listen, I've got to promote my shows. Will you fuck me up the ass again?" Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you guys are the ones that played a thousand times. He gets I mean, really into it, though, well, Bobby. Well, the, the first does, time yeah. was very, I mean, almost, yeah, it was very, I mean, he was just doing it. I was there. I ripped his pants down. I just plugged it in, almost like Brokeback Mountain. Yeah, yeah. Spit, Spit in your hand. my hand. <laughs> yeah. And just pushed it in. And he didn't know what was going on. He just went with it. No, it was great. That, that's, I think that that's, that's really the nature of that kind of thing. Yeah. The first time it was like this kind of sudden, yeah. unexpected. And then anytime that happens in your life sexually... And you go back and go, can we do that again? The second time, you're always like, uh, well, I got nothing to say now. Uh, <laughs> it's just a bummer. How about another concept for you guys? Well, Try something else. I think it's, I think it's time. It got weird right. at the la this last time because after I fucked him, I go, will you fuck me in the ass while I do mine? He goes, no. No. And it was like, why, uh, why it's would about you? my dates, not yours. Yeah. <laughs> you were done. And, exactly. And man, it goes on him. a long time. Boys. I can't. <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe a quickie would have been I all got right. a big tour. <laughs> but, I mean, there's I got a lot of dates. And I got plug. a huge cock. <laughs> <laughs> it goes on forever. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's this dumb thing in front of you? Bob. Is that yours, Bob? <laughs> what is it, a colostomy no, bag? That was a great one, Jim. Nice. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh, Jimmy, that was good. Oh, that was awesome. oh. What's this big dumb thing in front of you, Bob? Yeah. Good. Um, I didn't mean that, Bob. It's actually, uh, it's right here. You, it's a, it's so you can have 
a woman with like a small titties can put this on with and a small with a small titties, titties you 80 year old negro <laughs> oh, shit no a small titty <laughs> a small titty a woman who has a small titty is a, Curtis a, Lowe. a woman who has uh, breast cancer and has mm. one small tit Mm -hmm. uh, you, can, you can put this on and, it, and pump How it up. And, now that's not was, funny, breast not cancer. Funny. Not funny. Not funny. Not funny. Not funny. Not funny. You know, I gotta so, say something. I got morals. I got ethics. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rules. I sell alcohol on my show, and a lot of people drunk drive and kill children. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking fat cunt. You witless fat cunt. <laughs> witless. Hope he dies in a bus a bus shooting. <laughs> I hope he's on a bus. A and bus it, a shooting. A fucking disgruntled person gets on and thinks he's Donald Pleasance and shoots him. <laughs> and escape from I New hope York. There's a fat helicopter cunt hovering when it happens. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, <laughs> and people just see the glass kind you of. You can't really put blow limits on the red show. mist. <laughs> you can't put limits on. You can't put limits on comedy, especially when you do a radio show. There's no, stuff. Damn it. There's stuff that we joke about, and I, it affects me like. Personally, but whatever. I what mean, makes me sick, though, not, and it's uh, so Who am I to say that you shouldn't laugh at something that no. might have been uh, horrifying to me? It's narcissistic to go yes. like to 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 spend your whole life not like not really caring if somebody makes fun of children or something, yeah. and then you have one, and then go hold on a second. Now I can't because now anymore. I have <laughs> right. a fucking Louis bag kids. of salt water that you should care about. Like Louis refreshing. A bag it's of like salt. People water. have the baby. People is. have kids and and turn into these fucking assholes. No, it's you didn't have kids before, so why why weren't you outraged then? Because it didn't. Yeah. Affect your stupid yep. shit life that nobody cares about. Right. And yep. now, you, now you have a little faggot that you're raising. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, that, by the way, isn't fucking special. No, well, that's it's not. the thing, though, about comedy is that most people think like you. I hate this little hunk of shit. Yeah. What a pain in the ass. No, and also when and, you're in the audience, you have somebody who died of cancer in your life. Right. Fun, sure. And then I make a cancer joke. Somebody else does, and you go, oh, "I wish I hadn't heard that." And yeah. I understand that. Right. But all the other people in the room, every other uh -huh. joke was about something that yes. bummed somebody out. Yeah. The whole point of comedy is saying something that was not really polite to say. That's the entire point. And you'll of it. laugh if it didn't affect you personally. Fine. And that's ninety nine percent of the people. But that one no. person he's gonna laugh at the other shit. If I'm watching a movie or a TV show and they put a child in jeopardy, I, mm. I change the channel. I can't watch it. Really? Yeah, I can't I can't personally love that shit. And I but I, I totally recognize that that's just my problem right. because I immediately go to thinking about my kid being missing or something. Is that true? I, I thought that was only take, in the movies. I can't take watching that. Watching I can't. Even, I can't even watch Terms of Endearment when they're at the. And he's like, I'll put oh. my candy car, candy bar back. I get. I, I'm like, I gotta shut it off. You're, you're just get, a crybaby when just, it comes to that. I just, Why? Yeah. It's a fucking hilarious <laughs> movie. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of comedy in that box. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, can yeah. we get someone to wear this weird titty apparatus? Yeah, it's so that uh, women can store alcohol in it. Uh, what? It really? it's, that's why it's called the wine rack. See, Ew. You know, it's about booze. Holy is shit, the wine sponsor? rack. It's so like they can get into a concert with some wine, basically? I, uh, yeah, I guess. That's There's cool. Somewhere. Is this a real sponsor? Wow. Sneak it, drink it. That's what it says on there. It's not really very subtle. We should, cool. we should fill it with loads. <laughs> now that's girl. just not funny. <laughs> not funny. <laughs> not funny. <laughs> Lows on titties. Not we should, funny. We should sneak it into sneak it into like a new kids in the block concert with all the little kids. You have her just start guzzling load in the front row. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus, Bob. Wow. Now, I'm really not sure that. Well, you've adapted to the product to your own use. That's yeah. 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 Not yeah. funny. It's not funny. <laughs> and and uh, where's that cunt in the studio to chime in and go? I agree. <laughs> Agree. Yeah, I agree. That's she all she had, had, by the way. Yeah. Of course, that's all she had. Uh, they're not a sponsor, so yeah. why fuck with them? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. I think that's your cue. <laughs> no, I mean, if it was a sponsor, we'd be all wine over. rack. We just do things a little differently yeah. here. <laughs> we shit on the sponsors, and they come back for more, which yeah. amazes me. <laughs> Vinny pays for those awful plugs we do every morning on the other side. We know how to sell. That's I'll right. sell anything. That's right. Yeah, honey, fucking honey, tank, just I'll joking. sell the fucking thing. That's right. You bring me a fat fuck with breathing apparatus and an unfunny cunt in the studio and a guy that he's making uncomfortable, I'll sell that too. I sell, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple things I want to get to. We got guest the singer. We also have uh, this uh, tasing where the guy sound like Chewbacca. It's worth playing one more time today. <laughs> tasing is great. Listen to this one. We love tase clips or tasing tasering awesome. clips or whatever. Yeah. Sure. But this one is just one of the better ones. Oh, no, no, no. No! Taysen! 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 Oooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
<laughs> That's That's amazing. Amazing. It sounds like <laughs> every one of Jimmy's punchlines. <laughs> that does seem like he's being tased with a load in his throat. <laughs> it's it's oh, weird because taste it, taste it, taste it. <laughs> it's it. weird because it matches the frequency of the yeah, taser. Of the taser gone. It's like he was tased so while he was could, like, talking into a the, fan. They, <laughs> <laughs> tased into a fan. <laughs> yeah, so could they turn it up and have him go, Whoa. They totally could have played him with that taser. Yeah. <laughs> like a like a Furman or whatever those. I was terrific. Thurman. Those. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, that organ from you. Yeah, we you kind of put your hand around a rod. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> we that, got guess the singer or uh, Willie Nelson talking about uh, 9 11. Willie I'm Nelson's Willie Nelson. a douche. Let's Does he say anything surprising? Does he uh, say anything you wouldn't have expected him to say? Yeah, name? actually, yeah. It, it is a little actually, odd, even though I know he smokes a lot of pot. He's one of those dudes, Louis. Oh, no. One of those. Oh, we're learning no. that he's one of those dudes. That Which it was. It was uh, planted detonation and. and oh. yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. Willie Nelson. We've had a bunch of show. One of those. Uh, the What's the your take on 9/11? Do you do you question the official story? I certainly. Is this man cow audio? No, no, it's not Macau. Who's the guy? Well, they, there's a lot of man cow sounding. Not funny. Out there. Not, not funny. Not funny. Uh, what's your take on 9/11? Do you do you question the official story? I, I like certainly them. do, and uh, I saw those towers fall, and I've seen the, an implosion in Las Vegas. Uh, there was too much similarities between the two. Right, the building and, and fell. I saw the building Dumb fall; it didn't get hit by nothing. So, uh, you know, how naive are we? Or you know, what are uh, what do they think we'll go for? What it did get hit so by you, nothing? Are, are you, you saying you started having? It also takes like six months to prepare that building <laughs> to fall like that. You it's know, not like they yeah. just go in that day, hook up some dynamite, exactly. and then it's it falls amazing. perfectly. It's, it's the most witnessed crime in the history of the war of, of existence. Of existence. And people are still like... They're still dead. I don't know, though. I mean, no, man. Uh, could have been something. Hey, you I was, know. Look, see? You see sparks coming out the window as it's... Well, yeah, because it's a building <laughs> falling. It's made of metal and concrete. I was talking, You're going to see sparks, yeah. dummy. I was talking to Anthony yesterday because this came up and we're finally bringing it on the show. Uh, right now, I got some douche above me just tapping in nails, and I want to go up there and strangle oh, them. And yeah. I go, I can't even concentrate with a lousy hammer, and they're small nails, you can tell, yeah. but they're nailing everything up there. And and they were supposed to sneak around a fucking building and, and jack hammers, drilling holes in, in supporting and no one's gonna concrete notice. and steel. No. And, and, and not going to notice the dust everywhere, yeah. even if they quote it in the middle of the night when no one was there, they were yeah. going to sweep up everything. <laughs> cables so, that would come out in a snake that would have to be a foot in it's diameter. It's just funny because I remember watching it and thinking, engineering-wise, what was happening made sense to me, which is that the yeah. top half started wobbling and that that's not supposed to happen right. to a building, mm -mm. and that this once the top half started to fall the weight of it on is itself... Gonna... It's it's like they dropped the upper part of the World Trade Center yeah. on the rest of the World Trade Center, and, and it crumbled down. Gravity dictates it will go in a straight line. Yeah, it's down. straight down. It's not going to go over for any <laughs> no. reason. There's no force pushing it on the side. No, yeah. it's pushing down. A lot of people exactly. really thought it was going to just, yeah, just tumble over that way. It's impossible. I, yeah, it would be you great really if Al-Qaeda, somebody like if Bin Laden just came on TV to say, no, we totally did uh, do it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, they must there be was pissed. No, yeah, they're like, like motherfucker, we did that. It was so much work. And they're yeah. Putting, <laughs> you know what we went through? <laughs> Maybe if Cloverfield, like, you know, tilted, you know, pushed the tower yeah, over. Yeah, if uh, Cloverfield yeah. Monster pushes yeah. a building, it'll fall well, over. But that's what they wanted, too. The terrorists wanted it to fall over yeah, onto, other, that. Yeah. onto other buildings, and they were probably bummed out that it didn't. Yeah. A little bit, sure. Willie Nelson is a fucking well, dummy. Let's uh, give him uh, the benefit of the doubt. Here's Willie Nelson. You get hit by nothing, so, uh, you know, how naive are we? Or, you know, what, are, what do they think we'll go for? So you, are you saying you started having questions or that little voice in your head? Uh, I mean, uh, did you have a bad feeling the day it happened? Is that what you're saying? The day it happened, I saw one fall, and it was just so symmetrical. And I said, wait a minute, I just saw that last week at the you know, a, a casino over in uh, Las Vegas. And you see these implosions all the time, and the next one fell. And I said, hell, there's another one. And they're trying to tell me that an airplane did it. And that's, you know, I can't go along with that. And then no. you find out that mainstream news reported, but it never got any attention, that the supposed hijackers were given national security clearance and were trained at U.S. bases. And the dean of the Defense Language School, Colonel Butler, goes public and says, we train these people, the government's involved, and they start court-martialing until he agreed to shut up. 
Shut up. Shut up. Who what? is this asshole? You know what's funny it's about who is this asshole? No. no. Uh, Sounds no. just like Mancow. Everyone online is uh, on his feedback is telling us who this asshole is. Mancow, uh, Bubba the Love Sponge. Uh, is it Neil Bortz? No, but they're mentioning that Humphrey dude, Rusty Humphreys, Mad Cow. Like, it's the same voice. Alex Jones. That's I guess what they hacks all, these guys are. They all that's sound what I'm like saying. The they guy, all sound yeah. like the same, and everyone thinks they know who this guy is. Yeah. The, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, I talk like this when I'm home. He sounds like he's about to say, Willie, that's Willie. not funny. <laughs> that's not stupid funny, Willie. Willie. Oh, Willie. Well, when was that audio from, though? In fairness to him, was that like right after 9 11? Uh, when was it? Yesterday. No. No. Because if you came out right after 9 like, 11 and said shit like this, you'd be fucking exiled. Yeah. You know what happened to the Chixie Dicks? Remember, they fucking said something. The Chixie Dicks. <laughs> I said that on purpose. Thank okay, you for noticing. Right. They, they fucking you know criticized Bush a little too close to uh, 9 11. Ugh, they were it. crucified. Yeah. Uh, no, this is all new shit. Stupid Willie, go smoke a uh, fucking joint yeah, and says, not I'm pay your taxes. I'm sorry, I'm not buying it, <laughs> asshole. I'm sorry, I'm not buying it. Well, it's a good thing it doesn't matter whether you buy it or not. <laughs> Holy shit, Willie Nelson's on to us. It's time. All right, yeah. we're going to make a major announcement this evening on the news. It. Here's the stupid The thing that the other guy's saying, I can't. I, I have no idea if any of that's true, but maybe the government did 9-11. It's possible, but mm. at least... Admit that they yeah. did it by throwing planes at the buildings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, why do you need the planes to make are it a nice touch? <laughs> at least what they are they just, stupid? What? Why would they do that and then not? You know? Yeah. It, why don't you just? It's so easy to just say the hijackers were working for the government. That's all. That's fine. I'll go. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that did happen. Not a controlled. But explosion. we all watch the planes hit the buildings and the buildings come down. Why do you have to say no? They actually. Some people go like there was no planes. Yeah, what? there's people that say that uh, there were no planes. Is there really an eyewitness? There never this? was a World Trade Center. Did anyone see the planes? Yeah. Yes, millions of people saw it. Yeah. <laughs> well, they say the one that hit the Pentagon that they actually blew the Pentagon up themselves because there's no footage of the plane. Yes, there is. Shut actually, up. No, there is. There is. I know there is. There is. There is. Security cam. They, they say it. that it isn't. So relax. There is. Right. All right, Tony, relax. <laughs> I told you there was, Bob. Bob's always arguing that point. And there's uh, light poles that are sheared off, and there's a big um, fenced-in generator that where one of the tail the tail hit. They know exactly where it came in. Well, exactly they, but, how it hit. The reason why they're like because they didn't find pieces of it like on Lost mm. that it didn't happen. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> You're a gatekeeper. You remember that jerk off? Oh uh, yeah. Little boy. Little boy didn't like his point of view not being not being and then he got all violent Stop the angry yelling. young man thing, sweetie. That's Stop. what it is. It's usually some this is I don't, You know, this is how people argue. And that's why I don't like argue on the internet with people anymore. Mm -hmm. Because whatever you tell people, it's like, well, it was on national TV, and we all watch. Uh, you know, it might have not. I can just, I can believe what I want to believe. Uh -huh. All right, okay. go ahead. Go ahead. Believe it. Well, doesn't it bother believe your parents you raised that? The douche. No, it doesn't because I've I've read. Uh, yeah. yeah, the explanation for that. And so they didn't find me. any aircraft parts at the Pentagon. Yes, they did. Yes, yeah. they did. Uh, yeah. yeah. What What are you going to say to that? Yes, they did. Here's the pictures of it. Here's a firefighter standing next to a turbine that matches this plane. No. How do you argue that? <laughs> That's exactly what they say. No. <laughs> no. Years people. ago, this is where I really learned about people and how useless they are. <laughs> <laughs> I was in, years ago, yeah, I, was in, I was in Boston, I was in a bar, and there's a story on the news on the TV at the bar about the stealth bomber. Remember the mm -hmm. stealth bomber? Yep. The invisible bomber. And this guy at the end of this Boston retard at the end of the bar goes, <laughs> he goes, uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm like, what? Stealth bomb doesn't work. Doesn't like, work. What do you, why do you say? Because the Russians got infrared. Doesn't work. Infrared. infrared. Like, there's, this is like a $3 billion airplane. <laughs> infrared. And they worked on it forever, and they, like, used, like, some of Hitler's yeah. science. <laughs> yeah. And, like, there's and the dudes that... <laughs> whose brains are yeah. bizarrely amazing that made and this thing. The technology from a clicker can find yeah, it. Yeah, this <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking, your remote this control. fucking Irish cunt in Boston. All they had to do was ask him. He's sitting at the end of the bar with the real... Doesn't work. Doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> People think they know anything. Yeah, the problem with infrared is that they can use it. Oh, Bob, no. what about? Don't talk to me, dude. I rehearsed this alone. No. <laughs> uh, they should have heard me in the car after the Super Bowl. Alone, right? Dude. 
Dude, it's not. You know what, dude? Dude, it's, it was destiny. It was the big picture. <laughs> you know that was ours to lose, bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wish, I wish, I wish you were false, but you're absolutely right. Of course, I'm right. <laughs> you know, fucking dude. It, they just, you know. Uh. <laughs> just, I'd love to hear you justifying that Patriots loss to yourself. <laughs> I mean, fucking Brady, the fucking guy, Giselle, dude. Why do you have to bring you what could have been except opposed to what really is? Perfect season. Yeah, dude, what's a better story? That happening or me being killed while I'm talking to myself, dude? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a fucking fool Amazingly you are. Amazingly good. <laughs> <laughs> Just looks up so there's no interruptions and distractions. Just like when he's alone in the shower watching this filthy asshole with his fucking eight jets and his stupid fucking civil rights footage fire hose toilet. <laughs> Fuck you. Bidet, his, his mechanical yeah, automatic exactly. fucking Ass fucker. R2-D2 shitter. You think it's not queer because it's water and not a dick. Yeah. Think again, fruit. <laughs> actually, I actually cut the hose and made the water bigger. <laughs> Right, and you put it the little dye in there so it's black. <laughs> oh, shit. Swim walk. No, it's a, it's a black guy's water. <laughs> well, at least I didn't make it piss. <laughs> You'd reroute yours from the toilet bowl itself. Bob. Well, wow. yeah, those, some of them are winners, some of them are... Dude, I was on the show, dude. I said something funny, and then they didn't do it. They fucking, you know what, dude, they won't laugh if it's about them or Norton. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play guess this. I remember this. this is, you remember you know, this? Yeah. This you know guy. who it is? Uh, that guy from uh, Back to the Future, what's his name, isn't it? Michael J. Fox? No, the the, the, the microphone would have been like one. this. Oh, the guy who thinks he's weird. Crispin Glover. Crispin Glover, isn't it? Crispin Glover. Nothing. Is it Crispin <laughs> Glover? Deserve something. Danny. Is it Crispin Glover? Wow. Wow. Yeah. That killed. Wow. Me. Great. Good. Wow, that's good pretty good. Slow. Crispin Glover thinks he's Thank an artist and interesting. Thank you. Can play God, we can play this on the other side. Density. Thank God. That's my favorite part of the movie. When he comes walking over with that stupid pad. I'm your density. That's right. <laughs> we got Jimmy's yes. comedy. Uh, saw a uh, saw a um, uh, clip from the reunion of the Family Ties cast yesterday. Yeah, and it is painful to watch poor Michael J. Fox. Use a steady cam. It was he's shaking. <laughs> That's not funny. Not, not funny. funny. It's not a guy with the Parkinson's. He, he it looks like he would be exhausted. <laughs> like you wake up. And ten minutes yeah. into your day, you're fucking exhausted. Yeah. Because you're just doing aerobics. Kind of like the two-legged dog. He's doing cardio mm -hmm. from the time he fucking wakes up. Yeah, like the two-legged dog. Yeah. He just looks exhausted walking around. I, I saw him do an interview, silly too. an interview trying to raise money and awareness, and the camera guy was just pissed. You can see him just trying to focus in on one part that wasn't shaking, then it would start shaking, and then he moved to his like, well, a full he does shot. This, he does this thing, Michael J. Fox, now where it looks like he's trying to get comfortable in his yeah. chair, yeah. and he just looks like he's moving because... He's fucking shaking. He, he, he works he, he, it into a kind of a Rodney, yeah. Rodney Dangerfield with the time. Yeah, he, you know? he, he, let me tell you, I got Parkinson's. He, does, here, huh? he looks like a marionette. Hey, hey Dr. Brock, can he you looks help like me out? a marionette where the, where the puppeteer has Parkinson's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or he looks like somebody naked sitting in a wool chair. Like, you know, he's just to adjust it yeah, to he's got to adjust it to get comfy. <laughs> exactly. Oh, this this ain't, ain't funny. In his hand. Ain't funny, guys. Ain't, ain't funny. funny. Not funny. <laughs> My grandmother had Parkinson's. Blah, blah, blah. Did she? <laughs> My baby's gonna get Parkinson's when it's old. <laughs> it's not funny. Not funny. Not funny. It's Dan not funny. Damien from Akron, Ohio, writes, Opie, did Louie just ruin the bit by guessing right? Yeah, he kind of did, but you know what? Oh, were we supposed to drag that out and yeah, try to figure out who it was? As soon as, I, as soon as I realized it was Crispin, <laughs> you know, Glover, yeah. Glover, whatever. It's not like it's it was totally you know, cool. Heath Ledger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, I just tried to make the basket uh -oh. and hit your intern in the face. Oh, good. Why are you walking into the fucking camera? The guy's nervous. He just walked right into the pal talk camera, which is dead. which is pretty large and obvious. Yeah, it's a giant tripod. <laughs> Earthquake and fucking camp. clumsy bumbles into it. <laughs> that was to give you the Michael J. Fox experience if you're watching. Him <laughs> He's a fucking faker, though, man. Give him a cup of hot tea. Now straighten up, bitch. <laughs> you're gonna have sore wrists. <laughs> they, should give him, they should give him the U2 camera so we don't all feel uncomfortable. The what? The what? The U2 camera. It's called. What's that? Well, 
I mean, this isn't a bomb. It's actually. I don't know. I it's actually, actually, I'm only stopping because I'm interested. Oh, he's a, he's a preemptive. This isn't a bomb. <laughs> you two fans know. They they do. They've done videos where like uh, Bono holds the camera or it's attached to him, and yeah. then he spins around so you oh, get yeah. the perspective that Bono's not moving. Right. Oh yeah, no, that's true. If he wore okay. that, he that's would see still. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't going for an over the top laugh. I was going for some kind of accurate. What is it, what is know. that? I, I honestly don't know what it means. It would seem, in other words, if the if the camera was strapped to his head, pointed at him, he would. Be he would seem be. still, and the world around him would seem to shake. Yeah, shake around. It's almost like uh, when oh. uh, John Travolta and that chick in uh, Saturday Night Fever were spinning each other. There you yeah. go. That's da, your, da, 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 how ridiculous da, da, da. must they have looked spinning with the camera? <laughs> the only way I could explain it was it's the U2 camera because <laughs> they've used it in videos. Whatever. Exactly. It's just but, awful. But they should do that. It'd be really interesting to see him, you know, just kind of still. I got, I got to spin with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Was oh, I supposed to pretend the camera's like a chick or something? Was that awful girl I was with? Can I kiss this outside my airplane hangar and have a picture taken? <laughs> <Whoops>. <laughs> Another gentleman. Smoocheroo. <laughs> Smoocheroo. Tisk, tisk you. Tee hee. Can I inject L. We'll Ron Hubbard's wife. sperm into my wife? <laughs> <laughs> and make a... evil baby? <laughs> hey, Mr. Cotter. Mr. Cotter. Uh, let's say hi to Stuart in Canada who just has nonsense. Stuart. You got yep. nonsense for the show. All right, Stuart. Go Stuart, ahead. you're on. Go. Let her rip. Go. Right on, buddy. Yeah, no, I just wanted the phone to talk about the 911 thing because I've been looking into it for a long time. Uh, myself, boy, and, still. Uh, I tell you, a lot of people are sure down on what they're not up on because if you looked into all the witnesses that day. All right, hold on. Did you just what? say that people are down on what they're not up on? Yeah, he's got like a whole uh, rap. Let him, let him get to no, his point. Yeah, go ahead with the lingo. I go like ahead. it. Let's get to the fucking point. The 911. Point is, the, po the planes that hit those buildings weren't even... Uh, Commercial airliners, they really? were military totally. aircraft. Oh, totally. There were no windows in them. Right, right, right. 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 Totally, I, you could totally tell. I read that, yeah. Yep, no and windows. What else? No, well, what else? Uh, the, the security guards that were working in the, the building that day, as well as the firemen that went in there, heard explosions in the basement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, even gross. before the plane, the second plane hit. Right. Well, can I, wait, can I ask okay. one question? Hold on, hold on, buddy. I have a question for Stuart, because I, I know I'm not, I'm, a lot of times I'm down on what I'm not up on. I was watching a special where two parents. We're talking about the conversation they had with their son, who was on the second plane. Your yeah. son. Um, and they, and he said that we're, uh, he was describing what was happening. He, they were flying low. He said to his parents, these two old people, I'm afraid we're going to hit, uh, some kind of a building or something like that. And they said right before he died, as they're watching it on TV, he's going, oh my God, oh my God, because he saw the building. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, how do you explain that, or how do you explain it's ridiculous the messages? That, it's ridiculous that you need specific. But I'm curious as to how he would explain it. Oh, you're right, and you know what? That that's that's one of the main things that's bothered mm. me mm. Is, is the fact mm. where did these if these people weren't on the plane or they mm. were on the plane, right. either either they were uh, taken off the plane before those buildings hit, or they were put on that military plane. Yeah. Yeah. And they were told. Yeah, they would take the windows. passengers from the some military. airplane yeah. and load them yeah. onto a military <laughs> that's plane. That's what I would do. I would just walk into a military. Military yes, plane in order to make the cell phone call, even though he can't see out of and the window because apparently he didn't have windows. There yeah, any they windows. wouldn't even know because they'd be, you know, the a regular airplane seat on a plane or sitting in like a net, like a C-130. <laughs> that would, they yeah. would just be, oh, this is a different plane. And My, do you know there were windows? There were windows. I'm just telling you, and there also were my windows. friend who lived on Barrack Street, which is right there. Yeah. Looked out the window with his dad, his old Greek father next to him, just to give you a little detail to make it more authentic. <laughs> and they saw the second plane hit. They watched it, like, curve and hit, and they yeah. saw an airline plane, and he yeah. saw what fucking airline it was. It's a passenger plane. The whole thing, yeah. My Still question is this. Why do we have to live in a world with guys like this? Uh, he's well, in Canada. I don't That's mind. You know, and, and, you know, another thing, you know, I mean, there's so much that they're not telling you anyways. I mean, Stuart, right. why, totally. why do you think they're Flight telling you? Yeah. What about Flight it? Flight 93 that hit never even hit the fucking ground. Flight 93 was was uh, was. Uh, it didn't never hit the ground. It's still hovering right. two right. inches yes. above the ground. So, you where, so, so low on fuel. It's actually a tourist site. Where are those people, Stuart? And hey, where hey, are those people, hey, Stuart? I'll tell you where they are. They're, I'll tell you where they are. The government uses them in mind control experiments and fucks around with them. That's what they totally. do. Totally. Yeah. Right. Our, and, go and, and, our and government does that. Your government does that. Finally. Finally. No, our government does that. But can, you know, Canada, you guys just, you guys you, just sit around yeah. making. Yeah, Canada's just bad. They're no. all run by the same fucking big wig. Uh, you just up there making guy. round but, uh, bacon and jacking each other off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If, Hold if on. I've seen the video footage of, the, of, the, of the Pentagon. Let me ask you a question. The hole that hit the Pentagon right. wasn't even big enough for a plane to hit. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 I love this story, Stuart, too. Can I, can I ask Stuart, though, because he might be on to something. What about the messages that people got? 
like uh, the messages people got like from people on the planes and stuff. Mm. How do you explain? Was that some kind of a voice control thing? Well, the messages that they got, um, uh, or people who talk to their kids. Because they didn't mention, like, the odd part, you might be right about being loaded onto a military plane, but he said <laughs> we were hijacked by uh, Arabic men or whatever. He didn't, like, why wouldn't he mention the uh, the loading onto the military mm -hmm. plane? By the way, there was a stopover at a military base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, why wouldn't he mention that to layover. his parents? <laughs> like, why, no, when talking to his parents? What, you're right. You know, that, that, that's all, those are all the questions that I don't have myself. Uh, you know I, what the answer is? is that you <laughs> the no questions, questions you, have you don't have questions. answers to. You have the answer. What you're saying is bullshit. No, it's not and, all and, and what happened was people didn't like, right? I've looked into it, fucko, and what happened was people that didn't like us flew planes into buildings and they collapsed and, and killed your people. Your own fucking country doesn't like you. They're a fucking fascist dictatorship. And that's Shut up, going you on fucking would have been America. talking Russian motherfuckers if it wasn't for us. You <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> Canadian <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> you would have been overrun by the commies <laughs> if it wasn't for the U.S. of A. right there to your south, hey, you son of a bitch. USA keeping you exist, safe, you pussy North country. Union. What, are you going to send over your goddamn Union. Dudley Do-Right force <laughs> to take care of the fucking <laughs> Soviet <laughs> menace, <laughs> you cocksucker? <laughs> Go fuck right. yourself, you Canuck! What I love is that during all that, Ugh. you were looking up at his name on the I computer. I had to. I was all angry with like it. He went I had to look at his name, and I just <laughs> had to look at Canada. He I, turned to look at the name. As I he actually agree with uh, Stuart as far as Flight 93 goes. Oh, do I you? really believe the plane still circling? Huh? It's still, yeah. No, it got it got stuck in the suck zone. The oh, suck right. zone. Yeah. No, really. Never hit the yeah. ground. Never hit Here's the problem with Stewart. He is like a lot of them are. He like wants the whiskey so, bottle. He wants so much to be a part of figuring out something that no. He wants so badly to stand out. And dude, we've really looked at a lot of this stuff. The reason this stuff mainly They're got brought up on the, the show. the same guy. Is I was interested in what about the Pentagon questions. So I mentioned it. And, and I got the answers from a number of different people. And I actually believe the official story on yeah. it. You're a little boy who doesn't want to believe what mommy and daddy have told him. And a lot of times that's the right way to it's be. It's just weird because it's, again, maybe the, maybe Bush personally ordered 9-11 to happen. But why say that he did it in this weird way with switching planes? This twisted why, switching of planes up and enough, mind experiments yeah, on people. If he's fucked up enough to use a military plane, why not pay terrorists that work for his partner, Bin Laden and Bush families or partners in a bunch of ventures and yeah got his partner to send some terrorists over with the american airlines plane why not yeah. that instead of actually they yeah. landed yeah. in virginia <laughs> yeah. switch pull put the passengers for some reason just to for continuity yeah, they, what said they landed somewhere like in <laughs> the passengers on a military plane and they painted windows, <laughs> they painted windows. with little heads on the outside yeah. <laughs> waving faces and There's they a mural up. on the side of a military jet <laughs> yeah <laughs> and they made up the whole like the the flight the, the first flight that hit when she's like our first has been stabbed all those calls from the flight attendants all that the fake. family know oh, oh yeah with it's all like, scripted it, that's what i'm talking instead about of just doing the obvious. Mm -hmm. Little children. Yeah. Someone has been stabbed on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> Cut. Like, do they have to get an actor for that? Is she a government employee yeah. that says, yeah. we need you to pretend you're on nine, a 9-11 nine flight, but don't tell anybody you did this job. What, can I lift it on IMDb? No. 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 <laughs> and you have to do a dead-on impression of that guy's wife. Yes. Yeah. We have voice technology. Yeah. And you have to know everything about her just in case a question yeah. comes yeah. up. Or can't so be much work. What kind of sci-fi so is it? So much work. It's the easiest answer, people, which yeah. is people didn't like us. And flew planes into our buildings. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all. That's all. There's no fucking grand conspiracy. We've tried Stopped to give looking for one. Nine eleven conspirators plenty of airtime, and we do yell at them. But there's been plenty of times where no, the when last time we didn't yell at them. No, you I guys don't know. were really. You showed a lot of patience, actually. I can't be bothering myself. Because they're you always going to lose. And you let them talk in circles <laughs> and just babble. And it's, they, well, it, it's, when they say things like, you're the gatekeeper, like you realize the this, gatekeeper. this is what I'm dealing with. You're just okay, a, yeah, a you fucking little teenager catchphrase. who wants so bad, man, to disprove <laughs> what the dummies believe. You oh. know, you could sit there and believe the official story from the man, man. <laughs> and read fucking about the JFK assassination, too, stupid. Black dog man, in reality, would have been two feet tall. Ooh. Do you understand? I want to believe in that one, though, Jimmy. I'm really starting to believe in Oswald. It. I mean, uh, believe uh, me, I, I know a lot Oswald about the conspiracy. It. I'm really starting to believe that it was Oswald. I want to believe it. It, it was Oswald. They had the whole thing it was on HBO. Oswald. 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 Oswald.
it was Oswald. They have a whole thing on uh, HBO where the forensic guy goes back mm. and he, he's like, "Look, it was one guy. All these shots from one that that <laughs> was it. The people that were made out of gelatin and no, they no, put no, them no, in the car. I no, saw that not, one. That was pretty busters. cool. It's not yeah, two it was gay guys like from San bust. Francisco. Let's figure this out. Do you have any gelatin? <laughs> <laughs> Canada wants to defend itself. By the way, we got Travis in Canada. All Travis. Right. Mm. Hey, boys, how you doing? Hello. Because we do like uh, we some of you Canadians. Just some. But admit that you would be uh, part of the Soviet Union. <laughs> you're saving well, I, money on a you're saving I, money on an army because we have one. Right, like, leave, exactly. That's the leave thing. Travis, Thank you. Leave that's Travis where the, alone. That's where their free fucking health care comes yeah. from. The fact that they don't have to pump money into a goddamn army <laughs> because yeah. we do. They got ours. What are we going to let a country invade the, the, <laughs> yeah. uh, our right. neighbor to the north? Travis, exactly. it's not that we like you, Canada. It's hey. uh, national defense. It's true. Yeah. Travis is apologizing basically for that Stewart guy. Fuck Travis. <laughs> Travis. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Travis? <laughs> oh, not much. Just, you know, as a fellow I want to say that yeah. man, that guy's a fucking idiot, man. I mean, as for our army, I agree. You know, we got a couple dories out there with some guys sitting in them with 22s, right? Shooting at 22s. The, the enemy, you know, it's kind of a joke. But, but you know, I, I don't get where these people get off saying this kind of shit. Like, I wish I had more free time so to think up all these things about UFOs and, and all these conspiracies because it really is a joker. Real. <laughs> yes, according to Michio Kaku, uh, oh, UFOs oh, are oh. certainly possible, yes. and um, unfortunately we can't get him on the show because he's yeah, but on Good Morning. Uh, UFOs, though, I mean, all the UFOs, some UFO sightings could be real, like the actual All account. UFO sightings are real. No, it's just an unidentified flying object. Yeah, but, I mean, like the actual... You mean flying saucers. Well, the ones <laughs> with, the thing, the ones with lights, ships. the ones that have... Like headlights. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, why do you? How do you get a light bulb? Have general why do you need lights? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like you can actually fly around without being detected by anything. Well, you got to see. You can't see. But when you get out, you uh, dude, turn the lights on. Hit the switch. Yeah. You need the lights that go around the thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Woo -woo -woo. Isn't it remarkable? Yeah, like all the weird uh, science fiction movies ha just nailed it. Yeah, They're yeah. actually saucers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're actually saucers. <laughs> no, I believe that there's other. There's a, yeah. I'm sure there's life on other planets, yeah. but nobody in Texas or anywhere in America ever saw. We a don't know that. Saucer. We don't yeah. know that. If we are on the ass end, <laughs> mm -hmm. according to Doctor Cockwood, there are many oh, different. Well, by the way, he's lactose uh, intolerant. This. Yes, is. <laughs> Let's not forget. Uh -huh. He's a brilliant man, but he has awful milk farts. Ew. <laughs> he has uh, <laughs> talked about string theory and how there's many different universes. Yes. And how there are probably sure. wormholes which connect them. And I agree with that, but no fucking idiot in Texas saw a fucking. Oh, I don't UFO. know about that. Maybe that they like to go to Texas because they enjoy the food, Lou. Sure, they like, <laughs> they Tex -Mex. Enjoy like a little Tex-Mex. <laughs> like a little, That's right. little barbecue. They don't like black people and they enjoy barbecue. <laughs> what better place to go? The only <laughs> place you can get barbecue mm -hmm. and avoid the Negroes <laughs> is Texas. Texas. Is all of Texas. I'm squeezing my cock right now. Oh, you're why? always squeezing your cock. Why, Jimmy? He's just pinching the head of it too, like it's a friend. Mm -hmm. Tigers. Like a little kid. I can come without Where's touching my dick. What? <laughs> Hold on. Are you guys message board guys? Hi. There's three guys at the end of the bench as if there was they're making room for a bunch of hot babes that are gonna exactly. show up. Exactly. There's a bunch of fucking never on their way. The one guy in the front looks like uh, he just killed so, like Hold some on girl. a minute. Tom in New Hampshire uh, brings up a very good point. Tom. Mm. Hey Bobby, I just wanted to ask you if you think that there are any werewolves involved in nine eleven. Uh Punch it out, guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bob, What's once, once again, the werewolf thing. You really creep everybody out. <laughs> You've heard this, right, Louie? No. Bobby swears when he was in Iraq doing the doing his uh, duty for this country. Yeah. Telling dick jokes. Mm -hmm. uh, he saw an actual werewolf. I won't deny the dick joke part. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know if... Look, let's put it this way. It wasn't a dog. It wasn't... Yeah. And I, I... When you... I turned to a Marine, okay, who didn't... Didn't smile the whole time we were over there. Yeah. Okay, he was just there to protect us. I go, what was that? He goes, I don't know. What, like you saw a person with a hairy person? No, it was a, it was a, it was a, like a wolf with a man chest. <laughs> and a, <laughs> like a man torso. And yeah. it was like higher off the ground. It's like an really, Arab gentleman. It was actually. <laughs> don't you understand? They look like that. It's just an <laughs> Arab gentleman. Oh. Gentleman. <laughs> Just a thin, barrel-chested Arab gentleman. Could have been well, something else there, Bob. Um, Why look, werewolf? Uh, well, because a werewolf looks like, you know, is half man, half wolf. Could it just be a wolf? 
No, it had, it had the wear in it. It <laughs> had the <laughs> wear. <laughs> sure it's W H E R E. Maybe someone was looking for a wolf. <laughs> Werewolf. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, well, uh, maybe it was just a deformed Iraqi baby. Uh-oh. Or something like that. Probably just some you know, hairy. I mean, what savage. if they what if they did crossbreed some cra- it was in the palace, like mm-hmm. Uday's palace. Right. But they had animals. Which, Didn't they have their own zoo they, or something? They had a yeah, zoo, yeah. yeah. And the thing, probably saw a monkey. But this is the thing is that when they when they when the Americans got there, as soon as Uday knew that, you know, they were coming and they were going to take over the palace, he let all the animals out. Like all everything, right? And right. there was a, they actually told us when we got there, <clears throat> be careful of lions because there's mm. a there's a few lions running around the compound. We haven't caught them yet. Mm. Yeah. Like they went around just shooting all the animals, like the ostriches and the the giraffes. They just yeah, killed every ostrich. Animal. Get those, those ostriches. Mm. Oh, oh, like, well, they, they are very dangerous. I hope there was a yes. neck shot. They have a, they have a <laughs> <laughs> I know. What if it goes? <laughs> oh, the thing would just tip oh. over his head. His ah. neck just bent in half, and he was looking at his own asshole for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> As he bled out. <laughs> <laughs> he just felt silly. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, embarrassing. What is this? <laughs> Let's go to Rick in Dub Bronx. Rick. Come on! Come on! There are a bunch of freeloading! <laughs> he doesn't like Canada. I think he likes Canada. Yeah. Mm. And of course, all the people saying they physically saw the plane hit. Yes, we don't need your calls today. We're we're we right there with you. Physically, of course. Uh, physically. How else do you hear it? See physically. it with your fucking mind? Let's <laughs> you theoretically saw it. I, <laughs> fuck you right in the mouth. <laughs> Let's go to Jared in New Hampshire. Jared. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, love God. you. Love the show. Linger longer. Okay. Uh, about the UFOs, man. I think they're not aliens. I'm thinking that people from the future are coming back to check in on us. Ah, right. And wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get the sports whoa, book. Wait a minute. If they're coming back to the future, on... <laughs> maybe they could have planted explosives inside the World Trade Center, and maybe they could have taken people mm. and put them on fucking time machines and take. Mm, right. Oh my God, the this is the right. story of Biff Tanner. <laughs> Sir, you mock it. Einstein did not believe time travel was possible. However, they've theorized. I think Einstein just said that if, if, if the universe was round, somehow circular, and you could travel around it, you would come back technically before you had left. So you, the time travel is possible. Yeah, well, he was a Jew Can you do with me a favor? Can, we, if there was, if, <laughs> can I just say something? <laughs> Listen to him. Fucking if, Jew without a calm. Oh, Shut if, the fuck if, up. If time travel was possible, I'd go back around 10 minutes ago before Norton... Uh, uh, called me he over gave to look. An erection. Yeah, he gave himself an erection, and, and then he moved it without touching it. it. Ah, but he's oh, moving yeah. it in his pants so without what? touching it. It's got the twitch. Uh, yeah, it it's really nervous. does. It's Michael J. Hart on. <laughs> <laughs> Is a little leftover Cialis in your system there, Jimmy? Oh, a lot of it. A lot of it. Oh boy. <laughs> no, I'm just God. having a good day. <laughs> Feel good. Uh. Feels good to be all just. Uh, it feels good just to have what I call uh, a juicy uh, mouthful. <laughs> Anybody want a juicy mouthful? No. <laughs> nice. You can see, you can see that, the shape uh, of the, the helmet through his jeans. Just uh, shift it to the other side. Enough. I stopped looking. I'm not even hard. It's not hard. Look, you can't bother. Watch, watch, watch. Let me flex it. Uh, uh, it so why are you more, doing that? It actually has more muscle than his arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I bet your dick could curl more than your arm. Right, same. Hold on. Same joke twice. Hey. Friday. You know what? It's very Voss-like, wasn't it? Um, I should have spit when I said it. Uh, Bob Puddle of AIDS came up with a great idea for us today. Uh, we're trying to show you something. What? It, Can't find the long one right now. No, that's a shitty one. Long one. All right, hold on. What's Not that? that one. You know the one. I'm looking. Um. Let me get the link. Oh man. Bing oh bong. no, fan! No, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing. Make no, no phone. Oh no, that one. It's, it's not be talking, one. Bobby. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Uh, you gonna be on tonight? Yeah. I mean, on Call yeah. of Duty Four. Oh yeah, the new uh, the new clan sign is you uh, hold your wrist limply. Yeah. And for life, hold up the uh, L for life. Huh? I I have to be honest with you. Yeah, I've removed the gay from my uh, noodles name. But you haven't removed it from your soul or your life. I, I <laughs> <laughs> or your asshole. Take it out of your asshole, kid. <laughs> I was just getting too uh, 
too pissed off trying to get into games and having people boot me out because I got gay in front of my name. Well, it's a very homophobic all you have to group do is of go, people. Uh, <laughs> I sit there and go, join game, join game, and it'd be like, oh, gay in the room. Well, why don't you Boom, and I'm booted out. Well, exactly. That's why you stick with the gays. You stay why? with us. Then I sit there and try to fucking get into a game, and I got to spend a half hour Can trying to fucking get in Can you change your name after you're in? Uh... No, I've I've just removed the gay from the beginning right. of my name. You should, put, you should put the gay back in because the fun still is them getting beat by. No, nah, I'd rather just put the N word. Oh, sure. <laughs> Something like that. I like gay Anthony. I think it's hilarious, and you should go. Oh, go on, guys. And be like over the well, top. Well, we do. We do. take it's, that. It's fun. Let me tell you something. It's fun when you're in the big group, and we when win. we have a team, and it's just all and every name has gay in front of it, and you sit there and 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 they team you up with a bunch of other guys, and you're going, "Hi, fellas. Oh, Good job." They get so mad. They get all mad. It's like I'm not playing with a bunch of faggots. But all, they're so <laughs> they really are just just racist. And, and it, well, the black guys are the worst. Yo, yeah. motherfucker, fuck you, faggots. Oh, well, and then we then beat the, them. Yeah. And then right at the end, we all make sounds like we're sucking cock. <laughs> we're like... <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. But <laughs> there's this whole world the of oh, there is. conflict going on. It, it, just there, a bunch of fucking people sitting in chairs getting all clammy. It is and... the most sexist... Okay. Homophobic, uh, racist environment yeah. I've ever terrible. been in in my life is playing Call of Duty 4 oh, live it's, it's online. Wor it's worse than CB What's radio. You will Damn. hear Damn. fucking just like uh, the N words being thrown around at every turn. Yeah, right. well, maybe little kids like that's like not even what's wrong with it. It's well, just such a huge way. People are just sitting in chairs. Well, no, it's not waste time. Anthony, Anthony, oh, it's extremely. <laughs> Anthony, if you don't want to hear the N word, fun. just shut your mic off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> plug your own ears. Little kids that are on there are just like the Dude. potty mouth. Dude. Yeah, I'll go fuck your mother's cunt, you fucking. <laughs> and they're like, it's this little kid voice. I'm like, does your mother know you're fucking even talking like that? But uh, then you hear them. Her. But then you hear them hacking the universe. Dude, I went on the line last night and I got into the uh, the GSP nine server and it, <laughs> you know those guys are real. It's like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Little geniuses. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Bob, you're uh, kids. Okay. We got something for Bob. We're, uh, where's Sam? What's well, Sam? Oh, we got what? it. Uh, get a, what? Get, what is it? Uh, Danny, get over there. We just oh, is, this, oh, is this a fucking puking thing? Are you going to make no. me no. puke again? Jesus, Bob, Jesus, what's wrong fucking with you? Yeah, no, this is, it's a scary yes. channel. Why would we continue doing the same bit over and over again? I noticed because that when you do. Uh, <laughs> Opie was just, you were making a hand signal to him to you get the video see camera. The old school <laughs> camera. Did like, a, like a movie camera did with you a crank? crank? I went crank. I went like, crank. Like, oh, yeah, my okay. God. Get that, the, uh, that old tin Lizzie camera. Here we are. How else you do it? I know, I know. I don't know either. I didn't know what to do. No, so when you when you when you knew someone going to call me out on that yeah, one. But. It's like rolling down a window in a car. You're yeah. right? do the crank. You can right. just point to him. Do we have audio for this guy, too? Uh, uh, bah. To what happened to it? show prep? What happened to show prep? But do we have that disc where we have happened the audio? Happened to. That would audio. Audio. That's yeah. assuming we had it. Oh, God. Can you, oh, guys, over here? can you guys come in like an hour early and just find oh, some shit? Right. We do. Football is like... Okay, is that it? What is it? Okay. Right. It's just a guy on Discovery Channel. Ready? Yes. yes. I, I don't, it's I don't just know. audio or it's video? No, it's, good. Oh, it's just somebody going to puke, right? No, so, Bob. What is will it? you relax? Is it the guy with the moles in his face? No, moles. Moles. Opie, oh, Opie, Opie stop. can we just stop before you play it? Opie, I want you to go home and... Shut you up, sing, You sing your sentences when you lie. I hate that guy. Is that his tell? Yeah, he goes, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Good. Bob is one of the only no people to Bob. figure out my tell. I hate you for that. Oh. Pretty, and I forgot you know that. I got. I got. Can we please that. put music I, behind Opie's I, lying? All right. No, honey, I, I didn't cheat no. on you. Bob, just check this I out. Never what happened? happened. Bob, check this out. Really? It's, all right, Lisbon, okay. Portugal. So you know it's gonna suck. It's UFOs. It's not a UFO, you it's jackass. Yeah, you'll see. They don't have mystery. Is waking up. Oh my god. No, no big deal. Yeah, this this don't this. Oh Jesus! Yeah, this don't. Yeah, that'll me. help. That water will help. So when I wake up, I wash my face and then I kill myself. Oh, oh it, God! Yeah, yeah that's don't bug me. on his face. Yeah, I can. I don't break. have a problem with this shit. Make oh my God! Then I cut a piece off of my face <laughs> and I eat I it. Put it with my eggs. I wonder if he actually combs his hair because I start dribbling. I Why does. bother? Did it look like he was cut a piece of his face off? Look at his. Sometimes the veins start. Look at that lip. 
Jose struggles with the simplest of day-to-day -day cheese on it so His it bottom jaw looks like, uh, yes, looks like Madam from uh, Whalen. <laughs> uh, that, 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 this, Would you that's bite that? that? Imagine Jose biting that, though. Jose has close-knit friends what. and family. Uh. I want to his sister Gida and her daughter, nine-year-old Rafaela. She subjects her daughter to that food. Uh, oh He's normal. Yeah, he has a friend. He's like out a cold sore, by like the way. Uh, talk with the friends. I think he's, he's like. He is like a football. Don't it, pick it. Gida juggles running her hairdressers with cooking and cleaning. I drink it for oh, breakfast God. too. Last bottle of wine on the table. God, this whole family's got to be skinny. How how do you possibly eat around this? No <laughs> way to eat. <laughs> it's a great diet. Oh, I have an uncle with fucking diarrhea for a face. <laughs> Not a pound overweight, are you? Diarrhea. <laughs> is his mouth on the left side right there? Oh, no, don't know. Know. Oh, no, he's just shoving it in stuff. He's going to stick his head out the window and birds are going to land on it and shit on it. Since he was a teenager, Jose has been losing his face to this life-threatening tumor. Uh, yeah. What is it going to be life-threatening? That's one great. Uh, it's, it's still in the life-threatening stage? That's amazing. Get your head out of the window, you <laughs> fucking selfish <laughs> asshole. Really, the people <laughs> out there. People walk by. Human beings shit. are outside. You don't deserve fresh air. It really does look like a beehive. Jesus. <laughs> in the afternoon, Josie travels into Lisbon to pass time to horrify people. To remind people what an asshole God is. He was into... <laughs> I get upset because the people, they come here, take a photo, don't say anything, and go. Is they that think you're right? a creature. Place oh, yeah. a but he puts a hat out there for a dime. Yeah. I want to be able to talk to my friends, talk to everyone, and be able to cure my eyes. I want to travel, to see what I've not seen. You travel back to your home planet. <laughs> like, like red lumpy still, shit in front of your eyes. Of horrible. To take a picture. Jose has had enough. He leaves the square with his nephew, Diogo. What did he think? Uh, another victim of his nephew. always walks in front of them like they're not together. Apologize. <laughs> I, I'd understand apologize. if you had a large mole on your face, but Jesus, dude. Yeah. No. Yeah. He's a monster in a sweater. <laughs> right. I like how it bounces, though. Yes. Oh. Look at him. What was he going to hit? I wouldn't Ew, hit anyone if I was you. Yeah, it's very jiggly. Why don't, you, don't use your fist, use Jesus. your tumor. Just yeah. put it. Upset by the day's events, Jose becomes angry and frustrated. You don't want anyone punching in the face. That whole thing is going to just... He's trying to prove he's not visible. Just squish, squish, it with, that. squish it with your feet and make wine out of it. <laughs> <laughs> He feels that people see only his condition, and not the man behind oh, sorry. the face. Well, then stay home. Jesus Christ, just put a fucking Nixon mask over it. <laughs> fucking, don't bother people. Don't get mad at people for noticing that you're fucking horrid. <laughs> Jesus. Is he holding it? Oh, he's got to touch it all the time. You think he's got a food pocket? And annoyed. Oh. If it wasn't for the He's a brain face. He looks smart. He looks really smart. Hey, could you uh, calculate some mathematics for me? His face his face looks like kid cereal. Cranberry tumor crunch. It's like a bag of potatoes that I forgot about for six months. Potato eye face. He's got to adjust a piece of cauliflower up top. Oh, he's awful. His, his face looks healthy. That's his nose. <laughs> That's his nose. From breathing. That's his nose way down there. You guys see his video. I think it's a very important consultation. No face, Because it can define the rest of his life. Yeah. Be great if the doctor walked in with a Get fucking... Get a with an axe. Save his I have the solution. And give Jose back his face. Yeah. You might have won the game, but you lose in life. <laughs> yeah. You might have won the Dominoes game. He's playing wow. Dominoes. <laughs> That's just fucking I, brutal. I won, yeah, but look at your face. Yeah, but <laughs> life hates did you. you. Did yeah. you? Did you really win? The domino effect is this. It's they should they should push his mother into drinking during pregnancy and she tumbles into him and the rest of his life. That's, That's what it. happens. That's it. So, it's not, guys, it's not funny.
Yeah. It's not funny. Not, not funny. funny. Not got a brain funny. funny. What's funny. weird is that this kind of thing always happens to like some fucking dude in an ugly sweater in Lisbon. Like, yeah. like why doesn't it happen to like the president? Imagine if like the president <laughs> oh, got wow. a mole and then it just became it turned into big tumor face, shit face. And he was such a great president, you got to keep him in there. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, God, yeah. we, oh, and he's got. <laughs> Oh man, oh. the president's face is fucking. He actually has a turn a, into a elephant nose, shit. A <laughs> nose holder. Jesus, <laughs> one official nose presidential nose, nose holder. Yes. Why why man, hang on. Uh, oh, what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> why don't we take our first break here at XM? That's right. We got Louis C.K. playing Cleveland and Buffalo and elsewhere. Diabetes. Right. That's right. <laughs> February fourteenth, Buffalo. That's Cle Valentine's Day, though. Yeah, that's right. Cleveland. I don't care. Special Valentine's Day show. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and say that. Okay. That's fine. It's a special <laughs> Valentine's Day show where I'll be do mentioning everything but Valentine's Day <laughs> All right. as a tribute. And you can call... February 14th in Buffalo. The Oops, sorry. You can call... I'm sorry. You can call the Maxwell Show in Cleveland, 800-348-1007. Just don't curse on the air because that will wreck their show. Yes, just and, remind them that I'm going to be there on the 15th. That's right. At sure. The Playhouse. And I'll be there on the 29th in the House of Blues. Both shows are sold out. Don't say cunt. You get two shows sold out already? Of course. That's it's great. It's been sold out. Good for you. And I'm you're fucking in the, Cleveland Jimmy. You're at the Improv, Bob? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm at the Improv. All right. We're uh, going to take a break and continue with uh, the show. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. What does this mean? By the way, can I correct Bob real quick? On your that doesn't sound like cock sucking. No. Hmm. No, you gotta do like like this. Like listen. Then like this. Then like this. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Jimmy. God. And then and then. Jimmy, you know. <laughs> And then and then. So are you gonna call me later? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Damn it, that Jimmy. sucks. I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> no, about, no, no more fucking each other. Well, what about the end? I told you. What about you. the end? What? what? What happens at the end? <laughs> Wait, no, <it's> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. See, I'm gonna hear that next mm. time a woman's blown me in 2048. <laughs> <laughs> I just think of a little baby face with small little lumpy ears. I gotta go record <laughs> a promo. Come fuck me for it. <laughs> Come on, for real. All right, we got to figure out you. what this means, I'm and we'll uh, we'll be back uh, with the Opie and Anthony show. Stay there. The Opie and Anthony show. It, it's 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 all about slut, skank hose, skank hose, dirty pussy, turkey meatloaf, pussy hair, and sparkle shit on the tip of her ass. How about a pulpy tampon with some sausage links next to it? Yeah. 